Hello, everybody. It is Friday, September 1st. Mm. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? You know. So I guess I'll just say at the top, just to get it out of the way, some of you know, some of you don't. <clears throat> we missed uh, most of the week because... Um, uh, can you say it? I can't say yeah. it. Well, this week was um, Shredder's last week. We had to um, do it this week, and so it was really hard. But we had two full days to spend with him, which was really nice. So we didn't work, and we just spent the whole day with him, two full days. It was really nice. We got to do all of his favorite stuff. And... Um, <laughs> Took him to his favorite dog park and Ethan made him his favorite steak. And um, yeah, he, he really go, went on the best note possible. I can't at I'm home. Not, yeah, I can't really talk about it yet. Yeah, but just so you guys know, kind of, just so you know, you know, that's where we were. And that's kind of what we've been dealing with. So. I'm probably not going to talk much about it any more than that, at least for now. And uh, that's what it is. Actually, I do want to say... <coughs> <clears throat> thank you to everybody who... There was lots of really thoughtful um, messages I got. And really beautiful uh, gestures. On the subreddit, you guys raised, what, like... Uh, $3,600 for various mm -hmm. animal shelters and organizations. That was really sweet of you guys. Yeah. Such Thank a you, guys. sweet idea. And the crew sent us this uh, beautiful bouquet of flowers that was very nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys, for doing that. It's very thoughtful. Uh, Jablonski sent us an <laughs> insane care package, as always. Of course he did. Yeah, of course he did. <sighs> Love that guy. And, um, <clears throat> I'd like to talk about it, honestly, but I don't think I can. I don't yeah. think I can get through it. Too, like, raw still for me. But it, it, it helps just, like, that you all knew how much we love Shredder. I don't need to explain that to anybody, you know? You guys all know that, so it's easier for me to. It's kind of easier for me not to have to explain that to you guys. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, his whole life was on this show. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got him, we had the Shredder cam back in. Uh, it was the beginning of the podcast too, right? When we sort of. I mean, it kind I think of it's like... about when Dan joined. When we did the Shredder cam, because mm -hmm. I remember Dan I mean, helped us. I with feel that. like when Dan joined, it's kind of like the beginning of the show. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was, yeah. So, anyway, uh, let's have some fun. <laughs> No, I wanted to come back on the show. I was planning on coming back on Thursday because uh, Shredder passed on on Wednesday. And I figured I'd come on. I think the show, I thought maybe it would be good for me to just come out here and be with everybody and, you know, get my mind off things and let some other people just, I don't know, you know what I mean? Just do my regular thing. But we ended up, I ended up deciding not to and spent having a nice family day mm -hmm. yeah. with the boys, which was really nice and helped me kind of take solace, you know. Yeah, so we had a nice day yesterday and we're actually going out of town this weekend too with the boys, which mm -hmm. I think will be good. Yeah, because the last week was so about Shredder. We nice to kind of now spend the time with the boys, make it about them. Mm -hmm. 
it's crazy. I think about how every, like the past six months since she got sick, like every thing I did and thought about was so much about Shredder. And like how different things are now. Very different now. Cause it was it was a lot of work just caring for him, and you know he's a he's a punk. He was a punk. Like he wouldn't eat. Always has been before the before the problems. (laughs) Exactly. So it was like the minute I get home, it was like I gotta get Shredder to eat. I gotta get Shredder to take his medicine. He doesn't Mm -hmm. like this food. Maybe he wants this food. He had a sophisticated palate. He did. He, the, he didn't want the same food every day. I'm like, no. They say most dogs you're supposed to give the same food every day. He would not fuck not with the same her. food every day. <laughs> he needed a variety. It's the spice of life. He knew that. <laughs> yes. Just like we do. <laughs> we have no sponsors today. Because they're heartless. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. It has nothing to do with uh, Shredder. They're like, yo, I don't want my my spot on this sad ass episode. <laughs> no, they didn't do that. But thank you to our members. Apologies, I missed the Tuesday episode because that was the day that Shredder um, became really ill. Mm-hmm. It was the night before. It was the night before. Yeah. He um. I just, I, would, I was cooking like special meals for him up the last week going up because he wasn't eating. And I didn't realize um, how bad it had gotten. Mm-hmm. And so Monday night after, you know, getting him to eat this meal of like rice, chicken and bell pepper oh. and fish oil and all this shit. He, uh, he puked out his whole dinner. Mm-hmm. And that only happened once before where he puked out his whole dinner. It was the first time he went to the hospital. Mm-hmm. And so we knew that. Uh, yeah, I, we knew that it, it wasn't. Uh, I mean, I was waiting for the moment, but I knew from that, I think I knew that it was the beginning of the end for him. Yeah, I don't want to get into any details other than that, because it's just. A little too heavy. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, thank you everybody who uh, extended their condolences. Um, let's see. Here, here's a good icebreaker. This fucking, it. <laughs> you know, it's not really funny, but it also is. I mean. It's Mitch McConnell. He's a demon, and you know these people need to go the fuck away. So Mitch McConnell had another um, episode. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> this is where the bell came from. The original bell. Oh. Was from his first uh, episode <laughs> because we were joking that. He saw the Grim Reaper in the crowd uh, yeah. and heard the bell tolling. Mm-hmm. So he saw the Grim Reaper again and he just freezes. He, he doesn't know what to do because he knows his time is coming. Go ahead, Mitch. What? Running for re election in 2026. Oh. <laughs> re election. <That's> uh... <laughs> oh, Holy shit. <laughs> Did you hear the question, Senator? Running for re-election in 2026? What do you think's the answer, Karen? (laughs) The only thing running is this guy's fucking turds in his underwear at this point. (laughs) Alright, I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. (laughs) This is, might I remind you all, the most powerful Republican in Congress. This man sits on the seat of power. He's malfunctioning. King obstructionist of the Republican Party. Yep. It reminds me of my laptop right now, which is basically <laughs> not, not starting. Now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now listen, I wouldn't have to make fun of this old fucking, you know, 
husk of a human being if he wasn't on TV trying to run our country. Just right. stand the fuck <laughs> aside. I'm sick of these people, man. Yeah. There's serious some family problems. time. There's serious <laughs> issues facing the us. This is not the time, Mitch, <laughs> to be seeing fucking uh, Death Note demon in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Boop my pants. Okay. okay. Somebody else have a question? Please speak up. <laughs> Dude, he's terrified. <laughs> he literally saw a demon. What the fuck? Look continues. how scared he is. And he should be scared, man. You don't have much time left. How is he asking for more questions? <laughs> Does anyone else have a question for this corpse standing Wait, in front really of us? Did they really ask that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. else have a question? Please. Do we have what happens after that? <laughs> I can try Wait. to find it. Yeah. Well, I've only seen this clip. Yeah, let's ask more questions yeah, yeah. to the corpse. I want to see what the more questions are. So here, let's do the bell bit yeah, again. Yeah, follow that up. So this is what happened last time. What are my thoughts about what? Running for re-election in 2026. Oh. Oh. Here's what exactly what happened. He said, are you running for re-election? And then he realized. Of course like, I'm not. Re-election? Mm -hmm. And then he looks out in the audience and he's looking at someone. He sees <laughs> someone there. It's his father. The <clears> face <throat> of his father, but... It's shrouded in a deep black veil. It's, it looks like his father, but it's also a skeleton's face. And flames lick out from the eyes of it. He can smell the sulfur, Mitch. Oh, Mitch. Did you hear the question? Hit, 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 hit the bell for me, Zach. Yeah. Mitch. I'm running for re-election in 2026. Time. The way his face swallows his lips is so <laughs> crazy to all right, me. I'm sorry, you are working It's in time, here. Mitch. Senator. There's it's no me. more re-elections. Come. Let go, Mitch. We're waiting for you. Join us. Join us, help. Mitch. Join us. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was good. <laughs> Look how scared he is. So anyway, we she said we, anyone else has a question, please speak up. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try to find what happened at the end, but we actually prepared. Uh, I've long wondered what it is he sees out there that terrifies him. So we kind of put together our best guess, an artist rendering, if you will. So do you have that loaded up, Dan? No, it's uh, I believe just the next. Thing down there. Oh, here it is. Yep. Uh, by the way, he was cleared by a congressional doctor. The <laughs> fuck? Is this the same doctor that yeah, no, said he's... Trump was in the healthiest person he had ever seen? Yeah. Is uh, it really? It weighs 250 oh pounds. No, it's not the same doctor. Cap well, they... Capital oh, okay. attending physician says Senator McConnell is medically cleared to work. Good to go. A occasional lightheadedness is not uncommon in no. concussion recovery. The fuck? Seriously. No. <laughs> and can also be expected as a result of dehydration. He's so, thirsty. That's can't, ridiculous. Can't do this. We need to uh, remove this man. You, you know what that man needs is some fucking gamer subs, dude. <laughs> True. Some spicy <laughs> margarita. <Sigma> some <laughs> spicy <laughs> margarita gamer subs. Sig you need to hit that Sigma brain for ultimate hydration. No, but here's what we kind of <laughs> imagined he might be seeing. So here it is. Let's take a look. What am I? About what? Running for re-election in 2026. Oh, sure. Did you hear the question, Senator? <laughs> Running for re-election in 2026. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. <laughs> Damn, that's sick. Penny. Pretty intense. I get why he was rendered speechless. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's time for me to collect your soul, Mitch. No. You're going to burn in hell for all eternity, Mitchell. <laughs> oh, man. With the grace. Oh, so? I'm gonna cast a spell on you now that makes you defecate your pants. <laughs> Somebody else have a question? Please speak up. 
Yeah, you know. Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. Wow. That seems pretty accurate to me. I mean, listen, when you when you that look explained. at it through that lens, it yeah. really explains the moment. Mm -hmm. He was going through so much. He was there, actually doing important things. <laughs> Mitch, join your betters. I'm Ronald Reagan and and all Ooh. the Bush family. They welcome you. <laughs> welcome, Mitch. How many have you killed? How many have you denied health care to, Mitch? How's the quality of the air, Mitch? <laughs> you smell the sulfur? That's what our kids will be sm smelling. Mitch, it's time to pay. It's time to pay, Mitch. You shook my hand and made a deal. Pay up. Thank you. <laughs> Good guy, I like him. <laughs> Push him You're with Biden. That's what Biden said. He's a good man. <laughs> well, what did he say about Trump, though? He said, uh, we're all rooting for you when you got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. They said, Joe, uh, do you have any comment on Trump? He's like, I just, you know, we're all rooting for you, Trump. <laughs> no, it was his, it was his mug shot, and he said, handsome fella, we're all rooting for you. Oh, my pretty God. Pretty slick. <laughs> pretty slick, man. Every once in a while. That's pretty funny. He brings the heat. Joe's got some. I, Joe's got some uh, spirit. He's got some know. zingers. Yeah, he's good. He hasn't seen the demon yet. <laughs> Although like he hears the bell. Door. He hears the bell. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't seen the faces. So is this what happens after? The, oh fuck yeah! <laughs> Dude, play the all bell. Right, I'm sorry, you all. We're gonna need a minute. <laughs> he sees something. <laughs> he definitely sees something out there. Oh, so this is after. So no follow-up question, huh? <laughs> okay. No, she okay. asked right okay. here. Okay. Somebody else have a question? Please <laughs> speak up. Um, what efforts is Daniel Cameron gonna? Dude, the last time it happened, they go, um, what was that? <laughs> yeah. This I time hope they that... didn't even bother to ask. <laughs> have debate on the campaign trail to win Kentuckians over in November. Oh my god. Wait, Daniel why didn't Cameron. we see this? This is good too. <laughs> oh uh, do you have a comment on Daniel Cameron? Well, I think the government race is going to be very close. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> why are you <laughs> doing this? This is elder abuse. <laughs> <laughs> Let this man just eat fucking jello and play bingo, <laughs> goddamn. She has her oh, hand up his ass, puppeting him. <laughs> 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 Let this man watch the fucking Big Bang Theory onto the sunset. I think we can do one more. One really? <laughs> Just give this man a break. He's the man's scared. Going so much. This, no more. This man has just seen the Grim Reaper laugh in his face. It's a question about Trump. This is a good sign. Uh, yeah, let me repeat the question for you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Senator, Mr. Speaker. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, yeah. the doctor's like, this, he's good. Yeah. He's this non able should run our country. <laughs> he's good. He's good. Let him through. Just give him some water. Yeah, I'm not going to He's thirsty. dehydrated. He's this de man is so thirsty. He's he's some milk. Just throw a glass of give him a water. Glass of milk. Yeah. Presidential race. He's on the Republican side or the Democratic side. Okay, thank you all. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, thanks thank a lot. You. Wow. Killed that. Crushed it. As Super, always. He's Ed. very mobile, too, which I like to see. <laughs> sure, getting around, uh, step there. getting around the halls of Congress is a breeze for him. Very cool. Yeah, so Mitch McConnell, of course, uh, we make fun of the ones we love, and we, and we, what we just did, we do one for the ones we hate. We do not love them. Yeah. Uh, you don't claim he is a evil, terrible person that has wrought suffering and uh, horrible shit. I mean, he really is the worst. Burn. So uh, the Burn. fact that he's seen the Grim Reaper in the audience makes me really feel sad for him. <laughs> also, I just hate the uh, geriatrics that goes on in <laughs> government. Yeah. So there that was. That was, I guess... Uh, it's tough. <laughs> Something of a palate cleanser? I don't know. Oh, this kind of surprised me. One Piece <laughs> anime mm -hmm. came out yesterday, I believe. Did anyone watch it? Not anime. Not yet. Oh, the, the live, live action. action. Live action. Adaptation of it. 
Does anybody watch it? Piece of shit. I, it sounds like you have. I'm curious. Nobody what you checked think. it out. You guys not have yet. Not nope. yet. I I am curious now after uh, mm. seeing the the release trailer and it got pretty good reviews. Look too. at this. Eighty percent Rotten Tomatoes Fucking and ninety five percent audience score. Mm. That I did not see coming. Yeah. In fact, let me compare it to Cowboy Bebop, which was another live action that came out. Whoops, Cowby. Cowby. Cowboy Beep. Piece of shit, dude. Beep. Beep. You got it. Nope, Beep. just one E. Beep. Yep. Beep. Nope. Beep. nope. Back no. it up. P. Cowboy Beep. Bop. This one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there it is. So you can see. Now I I watched. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I thought this one wasn't bad. Really? I hate to say it. Really? I kind of liked it too. I, I haven't seen the original. For, for a live action adaptation, I thought they did a pretty interesting job with it. Yeah. But so. if you compare that to One Piece, and One Piece is like the zaniest, silliest, like com almost like just dumb, over the top anime. Mm -hmm. And so it seemed to me impossible. Yeah. Hmm. Now, here's what I'll say Netflix Death Note got 36. I mean, that was a train wreck. That was. I didn't even bother with that one. Unwatchable, man. Yeah. It was horrible. The Full Metal Alchemist one was, was really bad, dude. Holy fuck. I forgot they even did that. So I thought, just so just I saw bad. this and I said, okay, I'm gonna watch it. So I watched the first episode. Now I'll say this: as a fan of One Piece, someone who is 600 episodes deep, <laughs> it just gets good around 600. Oh. 600, <laughs> and you got to stick with it. I thought it was pretty good. Okay, but I'll say this: I doubt anybody who doesn't watch One Piece and who isn't a fan of the anime would like it. Which was me. <laughs> so we were watching together, and for me it was like, mm, this feels like a show for children. So the first season of the show is definitely very, very kiddy. You know what I mean? But I could sit through it, but so I mean that could bad. still be okay if it's well executed. I'm I'm a also a crowded. hater, and so I feel sure. like the little <laughs> things annoyed me, like the costumes felt cheap, the hair, mm. like. I'm just like <clears throat> they do this in the anime one adaptations they try, and this is one of my pet peeves they make it like they have to look exactly like the anime character and right, right. right. but silly. also like there's a way to do that where it doesn't look cheap but to me it looked like you know like buying Amazon costume compared to buying like a uh -oh. professional costume well, it wasn't for lack of money because apparently they, yeah. the budget is like twenty five million that's per episode. What, mm. Yeah, more than Game of Thrones. Like, that's crazy. like compare the costumes to Game of Thrones costumes. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's the like fuck. day and night. You know what I mean? The feel cosplay because that's that's yeah. how like the Cowboy Bebop like, one felt to me. It like was, somebody yeah, a bit. put it together in a closet. You know, like it took me out of the <clears throat> huh. out of the. the that is odd. Immersion. Although the one yes. thing I will say about it is, but I'm a hater. It's so. in English. It was shot in English. Mm -hmm. Most of these adaptations are shot in Japanese. So the 17 million per episode. Oh, so they needed more money, I think. And like the <laughs> the hair for like, I get you know like I know what anime hair looks like, sure. and it could have been so fun and like Tails. polished, but their hair just looked kind of like I bleached it at home. Let me show you. And what then you dyed it a little bit at home. Like it just kind of looked freezy. Like and Nami's like, hair is like, it just, I don't know. But this is what the character looks like. Right hair. And then in the show, it, yeah, it definitely looks like at home. Looks right? like a wig. Yes. And you can I, see like the roots are brown. Mm-hmm. I see what you mean with the Again, clothes. Again, there's there like too. there's a way to do it where this would look totally fine, but this to me looks cheap. Yeah, I don't know why that. Like, and, and the guy with the green hair on the right too. So his like, name's Zoro, Ela. <laughs> yeah, Ela. Put some respect I, I didn't on know his that name. Either. <laughs> Pirate hunter Zoro. He does um, not look like he. Also, I will say though, the acting, um, the actors are really good. Like the guy who yeah. plays Buggy the clown was. I love how they interpreted that. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um you like I the main guy? I think the main guy is good. Yeah. Right? Yeah, he's pretty that's good. That's important. He is pretty good. Yeah, actually. that's important. <laughs> <laughs> and and like the main character of Luffy is a total like he's just Can I say this? And I do mean this with peace and love, but tell me if I can say this or not. And I and I'm not even say this as a joke. Oh, this is like okay. 
I'm mm. typing it to expect a, such a spicy take on One Piece. <laughs> no, it, I'm t I'm Here typing it to the crew. This like genuinely, he is. I feel like the the character is. You're saying? Yeah. I don't know anything about the show, Can so I, say I that? mean, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I watched part of it, and I would not say that. But I, I would. I've watched the show. He that he's not a normal guy. Like he doesn't interpret the world like okay, normal yeah, people. Sure. Okay. Or not like normal people. I, maybe I won't even say it. Fuck Just it. Say it's not yeah, worth, worth it. it. <laughs> but yeah, he's a special kind of guy, that Luke. You, know what you I want mean? me to play this a soundbite that maybe uh, pertains mm -hmm. to what you're talking about? No. No. That's no, not going to help. That's not, what he that's not gonna help. <laughs> that, may, that makes it sound worse. Yeah. That's, way worse. <laughs> that's not what he said, by the way, people. <laughs> Just I right, play it now. I'm curious. Well, no. I'll just deny it. Whatever you play. <laughs> no, 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 no. That is not what I was gonna say. God damn it. <laughs> That's so bad. Yeah, but actually, somebody you know, said he's aloof. Would you say that? He's aloof. I mean, yeah. Oh no. He's 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 special. Okay. He doesn't see the world like normal people, you know what I mean? We love you. Sometimes but that's a lot of like uh, anime main characters, I, you know? That's part yeah. of the charm. Goku. Yeah, see, Goku. I, I didn't know the show, so I, I didn't know if it would be uh, out of line to say that, but uh, even without saying it, everybody in the chat seemed to know what you were gonna say. So, uh, I, I don't think you're the first to make that observation. <laughs> He's a, okay, so I'll say, I think Luffy, the character, is probably Special. on the spectrum somewhere. Yeah. I think and I don't even say that to be rude. I say that as a fan of the show. Like, he, the way he reacts to stuff and the way he deals with stuff is, like, very, you know, different in the way he mm -hmm. sees things. And I think it's hard to convey that um, on the screen. But I think the, the character is doing a pretty good job. They've done a pretty good job of conveying his very yeah. unusual kind of uh, character he is. That's cool. And... Um, Zoro sick when he did the three mm -hmm. sword style. I was so afraid it was gonna be corny, oh. but it was sick. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's awesome. I'm glad. Yeah, it's pretty good. You know, it's pretty good. I haven't Check finished it, it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it. I'll finish it with you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so there you go. I guess I gotta eat my words on that one. I said there's zero percent oh, chance yeah. the show's good. Zero. Yeah. Would you rather watch the anime or the live action though? Oh. <laughs> Anime. Well, it's, it's it's different because the f basically the show takes place over like fifty episodes, <laughs> so it's it's just a different experience. That's why I th I don't think a lot of people who haven't seen seen the anime would love this show, just because it's like a fanfare. I don't know. It feels it feels like a lot kind of fan service to me. Mm -hmm. And it's only six episodes, so I wonder how much more they're going to be able to make. Because the story is so freaking long, dude. Yeah, and at that budget, and with Netflix's track record canceling everything after two seasons. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> making a dent in that story is going to be a tall challenge. They did real Rob dirty, man. What? Real that? Rob? Fuck that show. A oh, real Rob. What's that? <laughs> that was uh, Rob, Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider with the uh, blue eyes. Beautiful blue eyes. <laughs> Two seasons, man. That's it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty cool with it, though. I'm enjoying it. Obviously, I don't know, obviously, is Ila's, Nami's cup size is like 10, t 10 sizes off. From the uh, anime, um, too small. Big problem. Thing? It's it's ruining the the, 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 immer the immersion for me personally. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till Robin joins the show. To Yikes. me, it's just like, it's really the aesthetics that I feel like is a shame. And knowing how much they spent on it is like, where did all the money go? I see where the... Like, compare it to a Game of Thrones visual. Dude, the set... Visual. The, well, the bunky episode, or the buggy the episode. Buggy, yeah. I watched a little more after you went to sleep, finished mm -hmm. the episode. Dude, it is crazy. They spent a lot of money. They definitely did. On like, all the sets and different mm -hmm. locations and shit. So I don't, it's so hard in this day and age to know how much is set extensions and how much is real or whatever. But what struck me about the second trailer that they released, because I was with you, I saw the first one, I was like, this looks horrible, bad, really bad. Yeah. And then I saw the second one, I was like, that was weirdly looked pretty good. And part of it was um, all of like the stuff on the boats and on the ocean. Did they build like full size boat sets and shit? Because it looked pretty legit. Mm -hmm. It looked like, you know, like Pirates of the Caribbean, how they, for those it movies, they built, like, It didn't feel giant. fake at all. I didn't right. even think about it. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think about that part, so. But, That's like, 
That's pretty they hired, elaborate. Like, I mm. feel like they hired serious actors to play some of the villains, and they create really interesting characters. I really mm -hmm. enjoyed, like I said, the interpretation of Buggy. Arlong yeah. just got introduced. Mm -hmm. He looks a I think you're gonna have a problem with how Arlong looks. <laughs> but I liked how the um, Axe Hand Commander they did with that. I thought it was cool. So, you know, there it is. This is literally like a quarter of a percent of the show that you saw, even less. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing. So anyway, yeah, I guess I recommend it. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> Give it a shot. I'll check it out. Yeah. Oh, God. I found out something that's going to change your guys' lives. Oh, my God. And I'm not even kidding. You all <laughs> are about to get a ton of money. Okay. Okay. I swear okay. to Jesus. Let's fucking go. Yeah. What? You think I'm kidding, but I'm not. What you talking about? Do you guys know what the un unclaimed property is? Mm -mm. Okay, <laughs> so there's this thing called unclaimed property. Every county, every city has it. Every okay. state has it. I know about this. I typed my name. I thought it was silly. I said, who's going to own, who's going to, is going to be any money for me? I typed unclaimed property, California. I put my info in there. There's like $300 that people owe me. From like what? four different bills. So what happens is when they can't find you to pay you, they just, they give it to the city to put in this un claimed property mm -hmm. and it was like uh when i overpaid some stuff somebody owed me money for something uh, 400 oh, bucks dude I, so wait i want one of you guys to try it dan you try it okay i'm also doing it right now too <laughs> so i want to see because i i bet Is it you the guys county la county un, type state? unclaimed property i think it's the state unclaimed property Ooh. california California oh. search and it's super easy to search too. Okay. Uh, I just did it multiple state because I'm from Michigan. You did it already? Yeah. Holy shit, wait. I mean, some of these are saying over $100. Yes. What? Apple iPhone and iPad warranty? Yes, bro. What? It's asking for property number. Is just that type, like a no, just unit? type your name and yeah. then uh, you add them to a cart cuz there's probably a few people with your name. And then when you add it to the cart, all you got to do is send them some proof of your ID and they mail you a fucking check, bro. Is <laughs> this is free no. goddamn money. I bet you the majority. money from the government. So it just, Dude. Well, it's this your money, money is just sitting somewhere? Yeah, it's just sitting in the state treasury. Huh. What the fuck? Here's the website. Dude, Here's, dude, I bet you the majority of you guys watching right now have money owed to you. Hundreds of dollars, dude. It's nuts. <laughs> like here, I'll show you what I did. Unclaimed property search. Dude, you're literally don't, Matt. Don't click you're literally Matt Lesko right now. Who's Matt Lesko? The guy with the dollar sign suit when we were kids, who's like screaming at you that he can get you free money from the government. I'm. F I am Matt Lesko. Yeah. He's fake Matt Lesko. Here, this guy. I'm Matt. Let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's go. Wait. Let's so, what did you put in property number? Nothing. I don't okay. know what the fuck that means. Okay. Yeah. So Ela's doing it. So you just put in your name? Yeah, just name. And one of the addresses or states. I got and a bunch of stuff will come up and then you add to cart which ones are yours. It's easy to tell which My dude, I have nothing. Really? really? No properties, match your search criteria. I have nothing too. But I haven't been here my whole life, so I'm not surprised. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure that I'm doing what this right. The so wait, A B, you got shit. Yeah, I mean so, it looks Zach, great. did you check yours? Uh I it's not loading for me for some reason. Let's see. Where do you cho choose which um, county it's checking? Also, you can just type just your name, I think. Just type your name. And then search properties. Dude, the America's gonna go broke if all yeah. <laughs> everyone does it at the same time. Dude, it's just sitting there. Oh yeah, we're gonna ruin this site. Oh yeah, it's lagging. Everyone's gonna <laughs> get that free money right now. <laughs> I swear to God, some of y'all are about to come up big time right now. <laughs> Big time. AB, you trying to check out? Yeah, I'm right now. I'm going to check out right now. <laughs> Interesting. I think you just got to send him a picture of your ID or something. All right, so I'm going to show this because I don't give a fuck. It's, I don't think any of well, it's my... What? Can, uh, don't. You can just show mine if you want. Let's see. Speak None careful. of this is my recent addresses. It's no. all old shit. No. It's old shit. That's making me nervous. <laughs> Porter College? Like, this is for my first year of college. They owe me $100. What? <laughs> Wow. Group policy benefits or claim. What the fuck? Here is um another one 
from one of the houses I lived in in Santa Cruz. Another group policy benefit or claim fifty dollars. Wow. And there's a few other Ethan Kleins. I know it's not me. And then it's not. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. This person here, Ethan Klein A. This one's two thousand dollars. He has here. What? Cashier's check. Somebody give this guy a call. Here's one. This is mine. Wells wages, payroll, salary? So I didn't collect some salary someone owed me? Hmm. Under 25, it just says. <laughs> this one's $8. Policy or claim? What the fuck is that? I don't even know what those are. This one's 500 y'all. No. Yeah. Other amounts due under policy. $500. This is, this is my Whoa. shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Y'all gotta get on this. Well, the website is officially it's crashed crash. now, so... Well... <laughs> try it later. Alright. Yeah. This one's for two bucks, man. Two bucks? It's for customer overpayments. <laughs> cash. Boom. So that's- so how cool is that? They, they, there's a treasury somewhere. They're holding our MONEY! So you had, like, tons of these. Apparently I had, like, four of them, yeah. That's crazy. I have zero. Just type your name. No I address. I did. Nothing? Nothing. And maybe right, you had some? Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. What's your total you just came up on? Uh, this is over 100, and then the, the second one is 50 to 100, so... I'm not exactly sure what that first one is. Zach, you find anything on yours? It's fucking lagging, dude. I can't yeah. even... God that. damn it, you guys. Yeah. Wait, everybody wait. I wanted to do this on the show, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> My poor grandparents have so many. You've typed really? their name? Yeah. Dude, I didn't even think about that. Oh yeah, I can't talk, even like you explain like, to them how to find an this, older though, person. Because it'll never. Right, because like the whole wait. Life. Let me type my grandpa. I mean, he's passed on, but Yo. he was like a hundred. My grandma and grandpa both lived to like a hundred. Dude. Okay, somebody said, "What the fuck? I got 4K." Yes. I, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this is life changing. Somebody in chat just got four thousand dollars. Wow. <laughs> Dude. That's crazy. That's crazy. Congratulations. Someone just said I have five hundred dollars. I'm telling you, I am Oprah. <laughs> For real. I, I gain nothing here. I'm give. This is me. This is my love. Spread in the joy. Get that paid, baby. Someone just got five hundred and four thousand. The majority of you guys probably have on here. I there's nothing for me. Somebody said I hate not being in America right now. Totally. Like, it can you imagine it. this happening in Israel? Hell well, no. <laughs> Somebody owes Maybe you money, not. they'll be like... Maybe not. Okay. Next. Maybe not. Don't ask, don't tell. I'm keeping it. <laughs> Just saying. Maybe not. <laughs> Just search unclaimed property wherever you live. There was nothing that uh, came up for me. Sorry about that, Zach. Yeah, that's all good. Ian, what about you? I feel like you've been through shit. I'm, I'm looking and I, I got nothing. <laughs> mm. Sam? Nothing. I have nothing, but now I'm just going through, and pretty much every family member I've put in has more than one. Wait, let me wow. type my dad. Let me type yeah, my dad. He's got some shit in here. Yeah. No. Gary Klein. This is, isn't this crazy, though? How'd you hear about this? I saw, I read something about it somewhere, oh, and I was like, man, fun. there's no way that's true. <laughs> and I went, and I typed my name. <laughs> like $400. Smash that button. I just checked all the states I lived in. I ain't got shit. I want money. I don't know. I guess a lot of it is from like when I lived in Santa Cruz, and I think things were just a little too wild and crazy then. <laughs> yeah. I don't you know, think anybody knew where I lived. Your life was a mess. I was then. moving every six months. <laughs> crazy, right? Man, this website is fucked. I'm searching my dad's name. Oh God, my dad's got to have so much on there. <laughs> and my mom. Oh wait. What do you get, Dan? Oh shit! I found somebody, one. Somebody there it is. got six hundred dollars. I did from just my last name, and there's lots that aren't me, but I did find one for like almost a hundred bucks. Oh. That's what I'm talking about, dude. <laughs> Who owes it to you? Uh, where does it say that? I just got a crash, dude. There, that webmaster is wondering the fuck is happening. Looks like car insurance or something. That's it, man. Mm -hmm. huh. Cause they gotta pay you. Wait, you just huh. did your last name? I just put my last name. No address, no nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone in chat just got a hundred or four hundred. You said. Damn. Yeah, somebody Good. said six hundred from Wells Fargo. Yes, Good. dude. This is like a windfall. Like you're about to come up huge. 
just because yes. I love you guys. Somebody said we've done this before. My husband got five hundred dollars. Dude, that's sick. I got to see what my dad gets. I got to see. Keeps crashing, but I really want to see. This Maybe site both. is so fucked. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely <laughs> train wrecked. <laughs> Sorry, love. You just got mm -hmm. here. Yeah, I was searching my name, but didn't have anything. <laughs> Pretty hopeful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a long been shot. Been for a couple of months. In the last month. Yeah. <laughs> like Ethan Klein owes you money. Mm. What? Mm. <laughs> Unclaimed uh, salary from Ethan Klein. Gotcha. Man, it is not working. But I think that the majority of you are going to get paid right now. Avery said he only got 15 cents. <laughs> 15 cents? Hey, you got, I thought, hey, I just said you'd be on the board. 15 cents for Armada I'll Avery. knock it, yeah. I'm just trying my last name. I'm going to do the Dan route now. <laughs> Fuck, I can't load shit. Maybe Somebody I'll... said in a super chat or in a member chat that um, they were owed $4,000. That is so freaking epic. Really? Dude. My Dude, God. how badass is that? What? Just send him your ID and you're about to get a check for 4K. How nice Crazy. is your month about to be? Somebody said they did it in Canada and got 1,500. Yeah, in I think I, I think in other huh. in other countries they're going to be having this too. Whoa. It's just one of these things that nobody knows about. Totally nuts, man. Damn. I'm trying to find the Swedish one, dude. Get on that Swedish shit, love. The Swedes are too organized. Yeah, I feel like there's they no wouldn't cracks. lose. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Only in America are there cracks enough to have a website like this. <laughs> but the website exists. I'm telling you, in Israel, you probably have the cracks and Search. nobody will pay. Maybe you should be surprised. Search for it. I don't have Hebrew on this. Do it on your phone. Let's see. Um, I mean, I know you're right, but maybe you're not. Nah. If there is one, I definitely think we'd be owed money. Somebody stole money from us somewhere in Israel. <laughs> I'm sure of it. <laughs> and help them to see the evil doings of Israel. <laughs> Dude, this website is absolutely <laughs> devastated right now. But this is just the California one, too, because there's one for every state. Yeah, right, right, right. So this is all of our dear Californians. I wonder if every state is just crashing right now. I'm on <laughs> Michigan. I'm fine. I'm like going through different cities that I lived in, and there's like different stuff showing up. You find huh. anything new? Uh, yeah, this is this is another two hundred fifty dollars. Oh! So what's your total at now? I uh, see it's not clear though because it says like over a hundred for a few of them. Not specific. Yeah, not specific. So I mean, at least three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yes. Okay. I wonder if they. You probably don't have to pay taxes on this shit. They probably just send you a check. I, I'm trying to think how yeah. I would translate yeah. this to Hebrew because I don't Unclaimed even know. Unclaimed property. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not finding it. That's that doesn't even exist in the Hebrew language. One step away. <laughs> There's no such thing. There's no such thing. It's all claimed. I am seeing my family here too, though. So God, I'm dying uncle. to look up my dad's name. We got a couple Israelis in the chat. They're saying they don't think we have something. Yeah, yeah, probably not. Probably not. It's always claimed. If not by you, <laughs> then by me. It's never unclaimed. Please, I gotta know of my dad's. Please. Please. Please, please, I beg you. So there it is. There's my uh, my my Friday gift to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Here's AB sent me so I can just show you guys an example. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what the fuck? This Dell, bro. Dude, you got a freaking Dell? No Dude. way. Dude, you can got a Dell. A Dell? Ew. Apple iPhone warranty, Ally Financial, Dearborn. <laughs> nice. Claimant relationship. You just do me. You yeah. add it to a cart, though. Do they got a cart? Fucking. They got a cart. Man. I was just, I was so tickled by this thing. I just love it. <laughs> so there it is. All right, mine is submitted as well. You were still in the uh, <laughs> trenches over here reading Hebrew. I'm I'm following the chat. Somebody said there's something called Hara Kesef. I never heard of it. So what trying, does that mean? Hara Kesef is money. Right. And Har is mountain. I don't know. Mountain of money? That sounds like a scam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sign in here. Mountain of money, guys. <laughs>
Um, God damn, this website is fucked. All right, I'll come back in a minute. This is, this is not working. So that's fun, huh? Remind me to come back to it in a little bit, because I genuinely want to look up all my family members. I'll keep checking on it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> um, I was looking for an animal shelter to donate to, by the way, in Shredder's memory. I saw one of the ones people supported. I don't know which is a great one. I There was the best friends, um, best friends, uh, animal society. That one had a pretty good rating on, um, charity watch. I don't know if y'all have any other ones that you recommend, but that, it's kind of hard to find one where you like a little bit, because I just... I wanted to give, you know, I, I don't want to give money to some asshole fucking who's just going to pocket it. Like, we were watching a documentary on Netflix about these guys running this prolific nonprofit scam. They stole, like, $30 million lying to people. They said they're from a police union. Oh, yeah. And 100% of it went to police families. <laughs> and they stole all of it. And then when they got caught by the FTC, the guy who stole all that money... He literally only had to pay a fine. What? He didn't even go to jail. That's and he awesome. just started it again. <laughs> he paid $17 million, and he just got off free with, like, tens of millions of dollars. Yeah, I really enjoyed that, that by the by way. It's on HBO. Top. Oh, it's on HBO. It's called Telemarketers. I think it's new. I think it just came out. It's so fucked up, dude. This um, country is sick. What was that doc called? Telemarketers, I think. So that got me really paranoid. Best friends is amazing. Okay, good, 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 good. Best friends is amazing. I've adopted my last two dogs from them, and they're such an amazing rescue. Okay, that makes me very happy. That's good. It was crazy though. They they're like so big, and they just basically lie to people, completely lie, and they say that you're donating to the army, uh, not to the army, to the police. And they have this whole like decal and they're like, uh, we're going to send you this decal so you can put it in your wallet and in your on your car to show that you support the police. <laughs> and um, it has nothing to do with the police, basically. Nothing. <laughs> but then. The oh, guys, actually, there was a weird twist. There's a weird twist. The guys who are making the documentary, they figured out that like, why would the police let them do it? Right. If if it wasn't actually going towards the police. And it turns out that it does. And what they are saying is that getting 10% of something is better than getting 100% of nothing. That's their justification. Well, I think the police of, were just getting, were also getting paid crooked money, probably. That's got to be. But um, Somebody was getting paid on the back end. But that, that was that. their justification, which was ridiculous. They're like, that's just the nature of the business. Yeah. So I'm very, very careful about which nonprofit I donate to. Because that does not mean shit, apparently. Mm. Also, PACs. They were the other things with PACs, but we know that. Super PACs. Sure, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, good. So I'm happy I sent it to a good organization. Best Friends Society. Right, Yo! Have, uh, the Israeli chat is going crazy right now. They're discovering each other. It seems like, <laughs> so, like there's seven people so far. So <laughs> how did the Mountain of Gold pan out? <laughs> uh, I guess so. Yeah. Of course, they can't make it easy like in America. You just type your name and search. It's like I have to sign in. You have to go somewhere I have to bus. put in like the ID number and all this information that I don't have right now. And so, you remember when I we don't were, know. Dude, when we were trying to do paperwork or just get stuff done or getting ready to immigrate, oh my they God. make you go to places, yes. dude. It's the worst. <laughs> Yes. What's this? Yo, what? No. This guy, this person here got sixteen thousand seven hundred dollars. How the no fuck way. did you lose that much money, man? Whoa. You didn't notice that much money missing? Whoa. We need that guy to call in, dude. Wow. What? Yeah, call in. I want to talk to you. Yeah, I want to know how you're gonna spend it. Yo, like, no, that's epic. <laughs> like when somebody wins the lotto. Well, I gotta know how. I gotta know from what that's from. <laughs> How do you just not notice that much money? That's crazy. I'm telling you guys. I'm so happy to be sharing this with you guys. It's so fun, isn't it? Tell everyone you know about it because this is their money. You know what I mean? It's like the happiest... God, that, I went back to the website. It's still fucked. 
And shout out to <laughs> the California State Controller, apparently, who's who's running this website. So you can. Malia turn. Cohen. We love you, Ma Malia Cohen. Big difference is how you pay it back. But you don't need to pay it back. It's your money. A reverse mortgage loan isn't some kind of trick to take your home. It's not a, well, it's not a that either. It's so, so It's funny. just a loan. Forgot about that. <laughs> He's such a scammer. I Listen, trust him. You can trust him. <laughs> You've seen I me on you TV. Can too. You can trust me. Trust us. It's not a scam to steal your money and take your house. <laughs> and it's, it's a wild line to put in there because family. I wouldn't have thought that until he said it. Kind of put that idea out there. Now I think that you're trying to steal my home. Exactly. Sir. Listen, we're not trying to make you homeless and destitute and steal every penny of from you. And me. it's become <coughs> your family's heart and soul. And now it will become our heart and soul. How you pay it back. Israeli chat is popping off. Somebody said, of course we showed up when you guys talk about money. Oh, come on. That's not <laughs> fair. Everybody loves money. I hate that stereotype. <laughs> Everybody loves money, man. Everyone. And they're saying Mishpacha, which is like family in Hebrew. Mishpacha? <laughs> nice. Mishpacha. My Mishpacha Shali. Makwe. <laughs> Achis. Ach. Or how do you say it? You say Achi, but how do you say like? Achim. Achi and Achot. <laughs> yeah, what, what do you achim, want to say? Achim. Achim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makwe Achim. <laughs> Um, Cav Cavs are making threats to people on Instagram. Guys, keep your keep it coming. I want to see all the money you guys are getting. Keep them coming. Makes me happy. Sixteen thousand, bro. That's like that's I want to say life changing money, but it's like situation changing money. Yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> she. <laughs> Cav Cav is threatening people on Instagram, you guys. Ryan Kavanaugh, <laughs> you know him. Prolific, uh, giant piece of shit, horrible businessman suing me. <clears throat> Check this shit out. You guys gonna love this. Thank you. Um, someone says, does, does Ryan think he's a firefighter? I remember he just posted a picture of a, a fire helicopter. Oh, is that For no goddamn reason on his Instagram, yeah. <laughs> so this one comment, Rando, he responds to him. The Cav Cav himself. You just posted a fire helicopter? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> very weird. Okay. Ryan Kavanaugh, the very put together, the very hinged. <laughs> you know what I mean? The very uh, sane and down to earth says to this one comment, Randall. Ryan started the largest firefighting aviation company in California who fights virtually every California fire. If you want to give Thank me your you. address, I'll make sure we give your house extra special attention. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you putting out fires or starting them? Oh my god. Dude, that's straight mafioso threat. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> yeah, dude, he's cool. He's fine. Ryan's doing just fine. Fire! Hey, why don't you tell me uh, where your grandma lives so I can fucking uh, <laughs> put her out easy. So you know I can I mean? treat her right. I know where your grandma prays every Sunday. You tell that sweet lady. Don't walk so slow. Easy target for me and my boys. Yo, I'll make sure we give your house extra special attention. What is he talking about, though? Is he actually involved in firefighting shit? I don't know. According to himself. <clears throat> So what, he just takes it out there? You, whatever he's involved in, I'm sure it's shady. Like, uh, in my opinion. Ryan Kavanaugh firefighting. They'd be like, yeah, he donated $10 million, but then he totally reneged and left us with rotten old uh, gear. Uh, no. Um, <clears throat> that's all alleged, in my opinion, of course. Let's see. That's not him. I found a Ryan Kavanaugh in L.A., but that's not him. Bro, I don't see anything about you being... Part of the fire squad. The only thing I see <clears throat> about Ryan and fire shit is former Maui film commissioner claims mayor f fired him at Ryan Kavanaugh's request. Yo, this is new tea. I didn't even hear. I didn't even know about this. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying he sued oh SoCal my God. Edison over <clears throat> a fire. 
Ryan go Kavanaugh. To, go to the somebody? bottom of this. Go to the bottom of this article. <laughs> yeah, make sure there's no retractions. Before we're gonna do our. <laughs> we're gonna do our. Oh wow! Here's the complaint, just like always. <laughs> Wow, you know, you just, you turn, you pick up one stone. Both Kavanaugh and Rep for Relativity declined to comment to the Hollywood Reporter. What does this guy do all day? He's just a bitter fucking loser who literally sues everybody. Yeah. Angry. And it's not going down that way for you this time, you fucker. Thank you. That's right, bitch. How do you like my face? Hope it gives you nightmares, you loser bitch. Thank you. Fucking loser ass pasty looking. Do something about your pores, freak. Go get a facial or something. You're hideous. <clears throat> Former Maui film commissioner claims Mayor fired him at Ryan Kavanaugh's request. All right, let's read it. I'll buy it. The relativity CEO, who is a significant backer of the Maui County mayor and the local film legislation, <clears throat> indicated he would draw his support unless the commissioner was let go. I wonder why. <clears throat> And yet you're still best friends with the guy who fucking railed your wife. Interesting. Brad the Bull. He's like, the commissioner is... Thanks for taking care of her, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the commissioner is uh, working on my Wikipedia page. Oh, his, the commissioner must be Thros. <laughs> Former Maui film commissioner David Don, Don, Donenfeld claims he was fired at the request of Ryan Kavanaugh. <clears throat> yada yada. According to a lawsuit filed Friday... In the U.S. District Court in Hawaii, Kavanaugh made significant contributions to Maui County Mayor's re-election bid. The Relativity CEO also spent more than $2 million, the suit states, to support a movie tax bill that he believed was threatened by the emergence of Maui Film Studios, which Donenfeld, uh, Kavanaugh believed, had assisted. In a series of emails, Kavanaugh made his displeasure with Donenfeld known and indicated, said he'd no longer support film legislation if Donen was involved. So... If I'm understanding this correctly, there's a a politician in Hawaii who made some competing film studio? Something? I mean, what the fuck is the Maui Film Studios? In response to these notes, the mayor's cabinet manager told Kavanaugh that the mayor ordered high-ranking Maui County staff to confront Donenfeld and that the commissioner interfered with Kavanaugh's plans. He would be fired. Isn't that nice to know that you know, money just mm. doesn't affect politics at all. <clears throat> Yo, if you don't fire this fucking guy, I'm not giving you any money. Yes, sir. <laughs> He's gone. Mm -hmm. Indeed, Donnan's uh, uh, employment was terminated on September 6, 2013, after he was told he had to be at his desk by 7... 45 a.m. every day and wasn't there two days prior with the mayor telling the Maui News that Donenfeld was fired because he wasn't coming to work? Wow. What a fucking joke. Comments the former film commissioner calls defamatory. So he's a film commissioner. So he's probably just trying to make sure that people going there and filming were actually just like benefiting the state and the city they were in. Donenfeld began his tenure as film commissioner in 2011. Donenfeld suit claims he was terminated without just clause, alleging that a review of his employment file revealed he wasn't fired for failure to attend work, with the only explanation being for firing the, is the letter. Yeah, whatever. Uh, surprise, surprise. Is anyone surprised by this? Mm -mm. That's awesome, though. Mm -mm. Literally just tried to prove that he was doing good shit, and it just pulled up another scandal. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I mean, and that's impressive because I thought I knew everything about Ryan. It feels like every week there is something. What a douche, bro. Wow. No wonder his wife left him. I mean, I'm sorry. I shouldn't joke about that. <laughs> it's not cool. That being said, if I was your wife, you know she comes way harder to Brad the Bull. Oops, I was muted. Sorry. To bring it back to that Instagram post, uh, I'm so curious about... So the actual claim in that post is that Ryan founded the largest... Commercial yeah, can firefighting we? A aviation company in California. That's a huge claim. Yeah. That's a very big claim. And we right. probably what what organization is that? We could probably easily figure it out. Well, that's the there. There's not many of them because that's a very it's involved, all state all. Well, a lot of it is, but there are some private companies that get contracted by the state to assist. 
Um, so, but I feel like that would be very easy to know. Like, I found this one. Totally unverified. Also, is he talking about himself? Like, Ryan started... Yeah, he's, the he's largest. used to doing. I don't know why he's Ryan in the third person. The yeah, he, he he's thinks he's to, on one of his sock puppets. Yeah, exactly. He's used to doing Wikipedia entries, so yeah, he gets so used funny. to typing about himself. Uh, um, in the third person. I'm gonna have to look into this more because I mean, it, there can't be that many of those companies, right? And you can look at their business filings and see if he founded any of them. I feel like that's. I mean, I guess there's like services for super rich people. I've heard about like when there was massive fires in L.A. Rich people, what they hire private firefighters to guard. He's not their claiming house. to have some like niche thing, though. He says the largest commercial, what is it, the largest so, uh, firefighting aviation company in California. Um, that I, fights virtually. We're gonna every need California sources on fire. that, Cav Cav. Yeah, hmm. I've been looking too, but real fast, I just want to say I made a comment just to save us from being sued. That uh, Ryan started the fire. That's in reference to the office, and in no way in reference to Ryan Kavanaugh. Peace and love. <laughs> please you. don't, please don't sue us. Yeah. Say so what? I didn't understand. Uh, I was. I just wanted to clarify so I don't get sued. You're good. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. What he said. Uh, you're worried about me getting sued, or you? Um, <laughs> us as an entity together. No, because you said if you said the comment, I'm just I'm a I'll, I, I'll <laughs> introduce you to Rom. Okay. Not my problem. No, Something I said. I cover all you guys. I got all you guys. A little um, Israeli chat update. They are working on opening a Discord for them. To a all hoax. to all chat together. Walk away, <laughs> How do you say family mishpaha? Mm -hmm. Mishpaha. Hako <laughs> mishpaha. <laughs> Yala. Yala mishpaha. Balagan. Well, okay. Somebody in Discord. <laughs> Voila. Um, somebody posted a, a really crazy one on the subreddit, but they even say in the comments they think it might be a mistake or something because it's so it doesn't make any sense. They don't really? make mistakes, bro. Mm, this one might. <laughs> uh, it's for ninety three thousand dollars. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, zoom in. Let me see what it says. Does it say what for? What? Well, net if revenue it did, if interest. If it did, they blocked it out. Wait, uh, net revenue interest from 2019? No, 2009. Oh it actually God. says from 2009. 2009. Oh, sorry, 2009. You've been uh, accruing interest on some shit. Wait. What? Yeah, I mean, I I think it's real, dude. I hope for your sake it's real because that's oh my incredible. God. Ninety-three thousand. Net revenue interest is a the portion of an oil and gas leaseholder's interest. Mm. Wait, that, I, how do you know that? It's a very non-specific term. Oh, really? I just mm -hmm. Google it. No, it's just oh, okay, it just right. means interest on some kind of investment. Oh, okay. It could be that like maybe someone had you in a will and left you stuff that, that you never got a hold of or something. I don't know. Mm. But by golly, that's ninety three thousand, bro. Let's go, dude! I just had a brilliant idea for a company. Yeah. You do a service where you look up these massive amounts that people owe, and then you, for for a piece of the commission, so, you bring it to them. You know, it's funny. I think somebody said that somebody told them they could do that for them for ten percent. Although I don't know, because it's so easy to just go claim it yourself. I briefly saw that comment passing by, but they're like, "Thank you," because now I can do it myself. They're saying thank you to you instead of going through somebody. Oh, so there are people like I that. I think so. Because it is a really valuable service. I mean, look at this. All these people coming up yeah. and so much money. It's like a beautiful thing. I still I can't get on the fucking site. Me neither. I keep trying to find my dad, man. I mean, especially for older people who, who wouldn't know. Dude, I get you. Everyone over 50 has got to have a, yeah. a shitload of money on this, man. <laughs> I'm still checking for my dad. Um, <clears throat> oh, this is exciting. Streamy Awards 2023. Ethan and Ela voted... No, not voted. This is just the editorial conclusion. Mm -hmm. Best dressed couple. Best dressed couple. Hola. It's Ola. Ola is my favorite, by the way. Um, that girl there is my girl because she's always writing about me. She's saying like TikTok's, TikTok accounts you should follow. Like a weekly kind of list and she's always including me. 
So she's a she's family. She's, yeah, she's family. She, oh, she's the one that told us that last year she interviewed the fake Ethan. Okay, yeah, that girl's the real one. <laughs> oh, we love she's her. the real one. Yeah, she follows yeah. call over to on the. Okay, so yeah. like, she's the real one. <laughs> yes. Hopefully her name's on here. Oh, right. Jovita. Yes, that's her. So thank you, Jovita, for acknowledging <laughs> us. Uh, yada yada, Smosh Bros. The Smosh Bros. <laughs> That's how I call them. <laughs> oh, look who's here. Hmm. Oh, oh what a cool your, couple. Uh, Who off, are these? Oh. What? Your, your, your computer screen froze. One second. Oh. Really? Now of all times? Oh my god. We are so the best dressed. <laughs> we are so hard the best dressed. God, I hate the streaming so much. <laughs> Uh, really care about the clout? I hate to admit it, but I'm right there with you. I, again, I don't want to be macabre or dark, but truly, in that moment, you know, I don't want to. I'm not gonna say because I don't want anyone to feel bad. For force <laughs> me to go. You guys don't need to feel bad. Dark. But force me to go. Be dark. It was fun. Yeah. Are we good? Ethan and Ela Klein, who are nominated for Podcast Award. Take a look at this beautiful couple. Oh, wait, is that you? I think she might be in chat. Oh, she in chat? Yeah. Okay. Oh, the prom. Pose. Nominated for Podcast Award. We're the best <laughs> dressed couple of the evening. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. So, right. Let's go right now. So let's, let's go. go. Uh, <laughs> Ela, who just announced her pregnancy, told Hola. Hola. USA. <laughs> Hola USA, she chose her all pink look to match and compliment Ethan's Vivian Westwood set. Teddy Freshio also shared that she's manifesting a collaboration with Hello Kitty and Adidas. Let's go. I mean, they asked. I don't know. I don't... Ethan... They asked, what, are you, what would you like to manifest? I was like, okay, let's go. This was quite funny that she included this. Ethan, <laughs> who admittedly it. did not want to attend the award, <laughs> told us, I took 10 COVID tests and I was digging deep, 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 deep. <laughs> They were all clear. I was walking down the stairs this morning and thought, one false step, I don't know. But ultimately, I couldn't find a way out. That's, I appreciate her including that. Uh. Jay Shetty, with this kid super fit. How dare he? How dare he? So that was fun. Shout out to a uh, friend of the show. Uh, Jovita? Geez. Yeah. I don't know what's the right way to say it. Hold on, what was it? Let me find out again. It was right there. Friend of the show, uh, Jovita, Jovita. Or Jovita, if she's Jovita? Hispanic, Mexican. Jovita. Jovita. Um, also, Rich Lux, I gotta say, is coming out strong family this year. Mm -hmm. And Dan, you're gonna wanna watch this. So I'll wait for you because it concerns uh, Rich Lux. Who, as you know, is uh, intimately connected to your life. <laughs> Dan blocked me. <laughs> so Rich Lux came to our defense uh, regarding the streamings, and I appreciate that. Rich Lux the house, girl. <laughs> preach. Preach, sister, preach. Podcast of the year or something. I'm thinking to myself, how? How is this possible? I really thought that Ethan Klein was going to win. I lost a bet. People here, we betted who was going to win, and I put some money that Ethan Klein was going to win. So I'm kind thank of you, bitter. And, and thank you, bro, but thank you. never but never vote for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> never a good bet, unfortunately. For the house that he lost. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to break it down, okay? Please do, The streaming to me <laughs> is rigged. They only care about the clout. They don't really care about... I mean, there are people who literally post a podcast every single day there are creators who post youtube videos every single day tiktoks every single day and they're not even listed up on there it just to me just it doesn't make any sense to me the i i, I really want to see who's at like because this has been going on for far too long like who is at the podium here the Preach judges the table truth. who are these people how do you do you have to buy into it mm. what, well what? this face is kind of fire the heart with the roses yeah yeah he looks really so right cool. right now he looks great. Right He's in right. all aspects. Dude, mm -hmm. you got that Dolce Gabbana. Yeah. You got that bling that hits your collar perfectly. Mm -hmm. Girl, your it is all is working correct. for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
What's really going on? Okay, let me find out. Somebody from Fashion Nova is behind it, girl. I'll be sure. It's Jay One Podcaster of the Year, and I, I was like, I, I kind of know about him, but here's where it's different. Ethan Klein has a highly engaged audience. Mm-hmm. Highly, I mean, if you talk on. about engagement, it's there. When it comes to the Jay Shetty situation, and I look at his content, like, it just seems like Jay Shetty gets the celebrities on there. Here's the thing about Jay Shetty's podcast. It's just another podcast of people talk, just talking to people, and that's right. fine, but it's like, that's not... So he talks Over to people better. Too. He's he's really good. He's the best guy at talking to people. Mm-hmm. Do we care about, like, you know... I guess that's what all podcasts are. It's just one guy talking to another guy. I really do think that we're more of a show than a podcast. Yeah, at this point, I agree, but can you do? The streaming we're pigeonholed. is rigged. But yeah, Jay Shetty, he talks to the people. Go on, and Rich. You're doing Ethan great. Ethan Klein is like for the people, right? Mm-hmm. And there's like the difference. He's like the people's Ethan champ. Ethan for the people. Ethan right. Klein, the A Street podcast, is the people's champ. Ethan Klein is saying. the people's princess. Because they actually talk about <laughs> things that are happening in the moment, right. in the YouTube world, in the community of social media. They're always talking about extremely hot topics. They don't always talk about bottom of the barrel stuff. It's mm-hmm. hot topics. When I look at Jay Shetty's situation, he's interviewing Kim Kardashian, Kendall Jenner, Selena Gomez, and I'm looking at it and I'm like, It's like oh, people that are on the okay. PR tour. That's it. It's just part of the PR machine. That's it. Mm. That's why we like him. He's part of the machine. I'm outside the machine, baby. <laughs> Andrew Tate talks about the Matrix. I'm outside the Matrix. It's true. Nobody's involved in this show. We got no managers, we got no producers, we got no fucking investors. Nobody's in charge. Nobody's behind the scenes being like, yo. No one's running this show. Literally nobody's in charge. (laughs) Day to day, we don't know how it happens. Total anarchy. But actually, unironically, that might have something to do with it. Because there's all these insiders. The producers, the managers, Mm -hmm. the investors, the advertisers. These are the people that decide who wins, I feel mm-hmm. like. Because there is a secret fucking community. And people are buttering up hands in the background. And I'll tell you what, Jay Shetty's buttering hands. People that always say that, hard. like, people always say that Jewish people are, like, at those secret meetings, right? I never got my invite. What about I us? I don't want the invite. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Where's the secret meeting happening? <laughs> right. So you have someone who's interviewing celebrities, and then you have Ethan Klein who interviews highly, highly engaging internet celebrities, and also celebrities too within their own right. Nobody but talked I'm- to the Fleshlight guy. I'm sorry, but the Fleshlight <laughs> guy is way more fucking interesting right. than Kim Kardashian's thousandth interview about fucking skims and whoever gives a fuck else. Kim Kardashian. That is Oh. Cool. Somebody had a really good observation. He's YouTube's Jimmy Fallon. That would be true, yeah. except he's way less popular. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows who Jimmy Fallon is. Ain't like nobody knows who Shetty is. No offense, Shet. I know we're dogs now, apparently. <laughs> Just speaking truth. And I know you value truth above everything. You're like that. Also, Jimmy Fallon. Just- Jimmy Fallon's eyes aren't anywhere. I mean, what color? No. Nah. He's got. Jimmy Fallon's got brown eyes. Loser, yeah. idiot, normie, dumbass, freak. They're not. Loser. They're not even hazel. Dude. He should hide. Really. Are they amber at least? Nah. I don't think so. They're just brown. What a hey, fucking they, they look idiot. A, they look a lot like yours, Ethan. No, I have amber. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My eyes are amber, bro. Stop. <laughs> don't go down this path right now. Okay. <laughs> time, time and time again, I don't think people are listening to me. Ugh. Ethan. Shit's frozen again. What is happening? Like we said, nobody's in charge. <laughs> I feel slightly like responsible for the Israeli people now. I, some of them are like struggling to find the Discord. I don't know. Here's Fallon. Hopefully, you guys figure it out. Oh, okay, so, but they're members, but they don't know how to get in the Discord. I, I see some people asking, "Where is the link?" I think it how happens do we automatically, get there? right? When they become members. I think they're making their own like. Hebrew Discord. Oh, I see. Yeah. I can't help them with that. <laughs> yeah. 
But if you weren't trying to get on Discord, when you become a member, because it's all synced up with YouTube, you just connect your account, mm -hmm. your YouTube and then account it lets you in automatically. Yeah. These are amber eyes, I would say. Put your fucking clothes on. I ain't ready for that. I'm on a Discord. <laughs> Uh, you guys can't see this, apparently, but Fallon definitely has beautiful amber eyes, like me. <laughs> there, you see that? That's Fallon's eye. Mm. I, have tiger. I see. Light. So we love Fallon's eyes. I think that's... They're special, it's amber. I think it's special. Yeah, they're a little quite bit. special, actually. My mom would call these hazel. <laughs> beautiful <laughs> hazel eyes. Perfect, be beautiful. Oh, oh, there's one on edited. Yeah, this one is on edited. Oh, look at that moron. Oh, he wow. clearly tries to make what his eyes look Oh, no, no, that one is fake, too. There's the there's a real one in the Discord yeah, the, now. Oh, in the Discord? Yeah. yeah. Oh, here, 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 here. I got it, I got oh it. Oh, my God. It. Yeah. I got oh, it. Oh, those are gorgeous. Yeah, they're beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Is this, this is the a... real shetty eyes? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I saw someone put it on me. It makes people look disturbing. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. know. He yeah. looks like a lizard. Beautiful in a dead way. <laughs> like, those eyes are not right, dude. I know oh. they're beautiful, but it ain't right, man. Look at this. Only Shetty can pull it off. Who yeah. has eyes Shetty like this? Stunning with them. They're I have stunning. never they seen. They look so look good on him. Is. I've never seen eyes like this. They look like marbles. Yeah. This They're pretty. Beautiful. I'll be honest. I saw them in real Beautiful, life. They're perfect crazy. little marbles. And then his wife. Is also the only other person with like as beautiful eyes what as him. Fuck? How yeah. the fuck yeah. did they find each other? <laughs> that was wild to me when I saw. It doesn't that. make sense. There's something going on here behind the scenes. Magic. Yeah. <laughs> you think they were? <laughs> you think? You think? Grown magic? in tubes. <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent clones. Mm -hmm. You think they're like two people? Well, they definitely were like, we need beautiful baby eyes because we can't lose this perfect mm -hmm. eye genetics. Mm -hmm. So I need to find another person with insanely beautiful eyes, mm -hmm. and together we'll make a, a beautiful eyed baby super race. Look at her. Stunning eyes. Yeah. Stunning. Okay. Stunning. They're like yellow. I Whoa. mean, absolutely Whoa. stunning yeah. eyes. What's going on here, That babe? is true, true hazel. Seriously. Like, what the fuck? You guys need, you, someone needs to explain this, because this is not normal. I need to know how this happened. Mm -hmm. There's some funny business. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's like a special eye color club. You know? Eye color club? Yeah. Yep. Could be. I That's think actually, so. I think I that's know. where they're beautiful. I'll date. never be invited. I don't know nothing about nobody. Uh, it's like a Cream, Tinder yeah, for beautiful eyes. Dan, tell us about yep. that place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what's what's the meeting like? Chocolate mocha. There's no group. You know, There's no group. Cream. There's no meeting. Where do you go on Monday nights? You never text us back. You think you're part of the beautiful eye club, Dan? Well, where does he go on Mondays? No, I'm, I'm, there is oh. no such club. <laughs> uh huh. Tell us about the club, Dan. Listen, Dan, you have beautiful eyes. No offense, but you don't have shetty eyes. No, no offense. I'm not offended by that at all. Yeah. Who does? Dad, yeah. you look well, offended right now. He literally is grown in a tube, dude. I just, and I don't even say that, I say that to be nice. You do not want to look like this freak. You have beautiful <laughs> blue <gasps> eyes. Stop it! Don't you Stop dare. it! It's too much. You just uh, sound jealous. Oh my god. <laughs> it's too much. You, you know he wouldn't be sitting there with Joe Biden oh, if he had brown eyes. Do you eyes. taste that? You know he that wouldn't. Shit you're I agree. <laughs> I agree this with man you rode that. these fucking beautiful eyes all the way to the top. <laughs> yeah. You know what I did? I got this mug and these brown eyes. You know how hard it is? <laughs> Jay Shetty. <laughs> god damn. <laughs> And who and who's she with these beautiful eyes? Probably the president of like uh, NASA. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, probably president of NASA for sure. <laughs> NASA of eye color. <laughs> Do you think he's gonna run for president one day? Because he of could. Eyes? Oh shit, that'd be crazy. <laughs> <'Cause> of <the> <laughs> eyes. If he does, then I'll probably be hit, I'll probably be running against him, <laughs> just by coincidence. I'd be excited. I'm gonna try to become president. <laughs> Shetty will win. <laughs> Fuck. Look at that, dude. I can't even look at you. No, oh, make me sick. It's upsetting. <laughs> also, he has, a, <laughs> flash frame. he has a neck tattoo as well. I think that's what? important. Yeah, you gotta factor that into Wait, his cool what? factor. Yeah, he has a neck what tattoo. the fuck? What does Shed have on his neck? How'd Never you find that, that out? I, yeah. It's the first thing I saw when I looked at him. Well, show um, me. Let's see. I gotta know what's there. Kiss I'm trying to find out what it is. I mean, neck. Here, it's probably a swastika. <laughs> no. Oh no! Probably That's not. just a wild guess. I don't think he's a white nationalist. <laughs> well, let's see it before we uh, make Hitler. that distinction. Dan, you don't have to be white to be a white nationalist. You know that. Let's see what we got. Now, it's actually a sign in India, right, for something. It's a little different access, but yeah, mm. or it's a Native American thing. I don't remember. 
Dude, oh, they have yes. like no yeah. Indian. Okay. Do you know that there was actually this really cool uh, India what landed? What's going on there? Um, it looks like an SS tat to me, dude. I don't, <laughs> I don't think so. Dude, I, India I just... I'm confused by what I'm seeing, though. India just landed a spacecraft or a pod on the dark side of the moon, which has never what? been done before. Yep. Yeah. That's so sick. They did Whoa. a really, really uh, impressive feat of space travel and engineering. Just Shout happened. out. It's actually really cool. we back? We gotta go back. Is there footage? Moon, man. <laughs> No, it is really cool. It was cool. so fun last time. Are you joking? No, not at all. What the fuck? No, there is good shit in the moon. Yeah. Oh, when, on the dark side the of the moon. moon. Listen how oh, interesting this is. Oh, no, no, no. You misunderstood me. I said, when are we going to go in back? In America. Yes. Oh. When Elon says we can. Yeah. That <laughs> sucks that he's in charge of that. On the dark uh, side no. of the moon. What do you mean? I don't see any issues with a monopolized air travel by a private citizen. I don't see any issues with <laughs> yeah. that. No issues. You want to know something scary? There really is no dark side of the moon? Elon Musk <laughs> yes. owns satellite internet. He owns That is it. scary. He has like thousands of satellites, Will tens of thousands it? maybe, for his company. Um, You're talking about Starlink? Starlink? Starlink. Starlink. I mean, is that what it's called? He, yeah. yeah, he doesn't own... He, he doesn't own eight? satellite internet. He owns a large... Nobody uh, has what he has. Dude, he had he had literally our federal government by the ball yeah. because he could give Ukraine internet when no one else could literally by the yeah. fucking ball. And I agree that, that that's that scary is... because that should be like a like a municipality thing where your city gives you uh, that. You know what I mean? Dude, it's even worse. He's telling like Ukraine what and what to do, what they can do with the internet. Yeah. They like yeah, shut it off for certain. He can activities. turn it off. So there was one moment on the front line he turned it off for the Ukrainians. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He can turn it off with total specificity. And then the other thing is he's like becoming buddied up with Putin. And he probably makes everybody in Ukraine follow him on, on Twitter. Right? Uh -huh. Vladimir Dude, Putin. you guys see what they could do for him. <laughs> the tattoo is of a hand holding a microphone. That's no. the corniest. That's the worst tattoo. That's no. Not even that. The podcast it's, champion. Not no. even that. It's the logo for Source magazine in the 90s. You fucking love Wait, us. what is that? It's, it's, like, it's like a hip hop magazine. He loved yeah. hip hop. He got this when he was 16. I'm reading. Oh, okay. 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 That's, okay. Awesome. that's, that's, awesome. A, that's awesome. a little less God, like. He's so cool. I thought it was. Cool guy. Yeah, I thought it was like him holding a microphone on the podcast. I don't know. It kind of looks like a SS skull, man. If you look at it closely, it does look like the uh, Iron Cross. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's I thought some it was a shit, dude. <laughs> no, re no resemblance. Is that a picture of Shetty with his hand on a lever? <laughs> it's Eichmann core, dude. <laughs> um, here's a quote of the day from Shetty with the uh, mic. I believe you should focus your life on observing the little things because one day you look back and realize they were the big things. Wow, so fucking deep. Never heard anything like that before. Will you guys love me if I start a podcast like that? Deepa! Listen, guys. You should get a neck tattoo. You should get a neck piece. <laughs> um, of what? You want to order um, something? Yeah, well, who's cooking food right now? <laughs> yeah, it smells so like good. So I just good said in doing, it Sam? So Sam is making like cinnamon French toast sticks, apparently. Ooh, what are you doing, God. Sam? That sounds really good. <laughs> that sounds really good. Are you, are you cooking yourself lunch? You can't she can't be playing with us like that, I Sam. Think she, she was talking about love yeah, has never had it's French toast sticks. My fault. <laughs> so it's, it's all for Well, them. we have a pregnant woman here, Sam. You gotta be careful with scents. She's so bringing she's it. She's ravenous. She's, she's, she's got to Is there enough covered. for the class? <laughs> <laughs> she said there's enough for the class? Yeah. She did say that. Yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> I've been like aggressively hungry. It's insane, right? You're you, out eating me. Every you've time. witnessed God. it. Yeah, dude. So, we ordered hamburgers last night <laughs> for the boys and us, mm -hmm. and your mom is staying with us. Mm -hmm. And Teddy ate half of his hamburger, Bruce, Bruce ate, ate half. And there was, yeah, and so Elif eats her whole hamburger. Eats I ate it in like half. a second. I finished it before everybody. Yeah. <laughs> she ate uh, the other boys two halves. <laughs> and then I had a chicken sandwich I cut in half, and she ate half of that. Let's too. go. <laughs> Oh, I have to. I, I don't know what's happening. I'll tell you what's yo, happening. Yo. <laughs> You're growing a human queen. I know, but it's this size right now. It makes, <laughs> I'm not eating for two. You know, and that's a myth. <laughs> if you're, you're hungry, hungry girl. You your no, I am. Yeah. It's out of, outside of my control. Exactly. <laughs> um, I think we've decided on a name. 
Oh yeah, you want to share Whoa, this story? Really? Oh. Exciting. You you tell it. So you guys know I was trying to think of a name to honor Shredder, mm-hmm. and I was like, well, let's give him a middle name Shredder, and Ela vetoed that. Fair enough. Yeah, because I was like, it's, listen, it's a little bizarre. It's just a little bizarre for this kid. So we were. So I was thinking. I have this wonderful memory of when we first got Shredder. Ah, I can't do it. Mm. Okay. When we first got Shredder, um, his name was Scotty. And like the guy was, the guy there was so sweet and he kept talking about him like Scotty. And like when we left, Ethan was saying how, and we both remember that. He when said, we were be living. a good boy, Scotty. Yeah. It was just like, be a good boy, mm-hmm. Scotty. Because <laughs> Shredder was like the trouble boy there. Mm-hmm. He was the last one left. He was barking nonstop, running messy around. Like it, he was like the one people didn't pick. The whole Tom. litter was gone, <laughs> but <laughs> him. Awesome. And I'll even say this: when we walked in, there was two left. One was this yeah. really sweet little girl. Yeah, his, his, his sister. sister. And we're like, we'll take that one. And, and he's like, no, no, no. She's that already, one's already taken. taken. Oh wow. Well. So he was the only one left, and the reason is because he was insane. He was insane. <laughs> he was barking, he was jumping, and he always hated being trapped in any yes. kind of confinement. Yes. And um, I guess you could say it was destiny that we ended up yeah. choosing each other like that. But yeah, on his on his paperwork, it says mm-hmm. Scotty, and that was his name. Scotty was like his his given name. Yeah, and he was a good boy, too. <laughs> So, I love that name. It's kind of like a really cool story. It's <laughs> nice. I like it. But he learned his name Shredder so fast, by the way. Like within a day or two. It'd be like Shredder, and you turn around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're thinking that we're going to name him Scotty. <laughs> and I, I don't care what anybody has to say about that name. It's so special. <laughs> And I know that he's going to be such a special guy with that name. <laughs> such a great, uh, such a great uh, way to to, to, me- to to honor Shredder and also like, you know, give our our new son the mm-hmm. the love and spirit that he had that we had for him. Scotty Oliver Tree Klein. No, a race back <laughs> on I'm so glad we don't have to name him Oliver now. <laughs> Oliver called me the other day. He's like, so I heard you're thinking about... Uh, oh, no. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, bro, I'm not doing it. He's like, I won't give you shit, I promise. I was like, you're mm-hmm. full of shit. Fuck you. The fact that he already called you about yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, he can't be trusted. So, Scotty. Well, I just want to say I think that's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and not Scott. His name will be Scotty. Are you going to do I-E or Y? It's His T-T-Y. name was... T-T-Y. Yeah, that's how they spelled it. Of. <laughs> S-C-O-T-T-Y. Yeah. A little Scotty. <laughs> so it's perfect. Very cute. It kind of makes me feel better because I'm constantly... F- my fear constantly is like, how are we going to like never forget? our special Shredder moments and like just everything about Shredder I feel like it's so much like just us and like it's something that you can't really as much as we talk about it I feel like you can't really like get other people to understand it's such a personal experience but this kind of gives me comfort and like it's not gonna be it's not gonna get lost Mm -hmm. Anyway, French toast. Speaking of comfort. Uh, <laughs> so what's the story here? Uh, what, what's Here, you go first. <laughs> it's just French toast you cut into strips? Uh-oh. Yes, she said. You never I've had never... French toast or French toast strips? No, I've never had uh, French strips. Well, I've never French had toast. strips, too. No. This is a oh, sugary this problem. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Wow. No. That's so good. Buzz oh. it. Oh. Oh, he's <laughs> what what can yeah. she not do this Sam? Yeah. Samantha, as you oh. like to call her. What can you not do? 
No, those are from a box. <laughs> you, you made it. God damn it. Well, you, you made did them it. perfectly. <laughs> you made it perfect. God damn it. Let's go. I never yeah. claimed to be making them from scratch. <laughs> I don't care. I could, but. They're you fire, did. right? They're so good. Oh, hot. hot. Oh, yeah, That's they're hot. Crazy. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh Dan, do me a favor. Pull up the the, the video of me romancing the emperor. I gotta show it. <laughs> okay. It's not. It's a. It's a scene from. Uh, Baldur's you, you, okay, Eighth so Reef. we gotta give a warning though, <laughs> big time. We've never had this. So I good. had this when I was a kid. Mm. My dad used to buy these. Probably uh, the same one. What a I think treat. This is it. Ian, you gotta add for this. What? Is this seriously FaZe Clan's um, answer to their free falling stock price? What? Orange chicken? Tortino's pizza rolls. X. Orange chicken pizza rolls. Yeah, yeah. That is not something I would Wait, want. Wait, what? I want that. <laughs> I'll take a normal pizza roll. Dude, they do. What's the other one they do? Chicken. Buffalo um, chicken. Buffalo chicken. That's busting. Tortino's? Yeah. Or, really? Yeah, I think so. Pizza roll. FaZe Clan. I would hit those orange chicken ones like there is no tomorrow. Yes. That sounds Okay, good. phase up. I want I, I tried to order them and I can't find them anywhere. Are they sold out? Has I phase plan gone I, hard? I couldn't even find like a retailer. I'm curious so where to find them. Is the idea that what's on the plate on the right is like what's inside it? Yeah. That's what you what you get what's on the left. Mm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh god. Phase the fuck up. Well, hold on. You got an ad for it, and then you can't buy it. What's the deal, Ian? What's confusing? Blanks. Yeah, no, uh, Dexerto was, like, tweeting this out. Hashtag ad on it. <laughs> I guess okay. it's like if you're a gamer and you have no time to cook. Oh, my God. And you just eat frozen food. Is that the vibe? Like, what does it have to do with Is, Phase Clan? What does it have to do with pizza at this point? And what does it have to do with pizza? That's it's a orange funny chicken. point. <laughs> Phase Clan is saying. He has no pizza experience. Our members... And Eat those like who shit. watch us are fucking losers, <laughs> and they live on Totino's pizza rolls. Yes. We know their audience. This is the collab of a lifetime. <laughs> That's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Next, they should do, like, a um, Face Clan uh, sponsored our GED program. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have this. Face Clan early release program. I have this, uh, <laughs> I have this uh, video. Okay, so... So we should say uh, this is major, major, major spoilers for the game Baldur's not Gate. Really. It is. Can somebody it let could... me know in WhatsApp when this is done? Yeah, it's you not can look really. Away. It is. Over. I don't want because contextually, it's not about what's in this video, but even what's going on at all is somewhat. I don't think so. I'm just romancing a certain character. Okay. I went after. I pursued this one character. And I got an achievement for it. Only 3% of the people playing this game have achieved what no. I have. <laughs> being able to romance this character. Mm -hmm. Are you I, I personally don't think it's a major spoiler. It's literally just a, like a romance scene between these two characters. That's it. Okay. But, but, Dan, if, you, but, but if you're concerned says, about that kind of stuff, or if you're playing the game and you don't want any spoilers, turn off the next... Uh, here, I'll tell you. Cam, uh, I don't think it's one minute. spoil. The next Anything one minute. Uh, I really don't, Cam. He's gone. <laughs> The man's gone. I'll let him know when we're back. All right, roll it. All right, here we go. This is uh, a video that Ethan sent me at 12.30 in the morning the other day. <laughs> Bro. It's about to fuck the emperor, dude. <laughs> oh, this is making what? me so Am uncomfortable. I what? Oh, dude. <laughs> Ethan is the dragon-looking man. Can I you turn it up? I want to hear the possible. audio. Uh, now I'm just fucking regretting it. Is this all oh, initiated? God. Yeah, yeah. What is supposedly <laughs> happening? We're having an intimate moment. Really? We're having sex. <laughs> or, well, I don't know if we're having sex, fucking but we're definitely hell. looking Damn. up. Look at this shit. This is straight up hentai, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it made me so uncomfortable. This game is so fucking funny. Oh no. my god. <laughs> <laughs> This is what you're doing oh, when I'm sleeping? Fuck. No, dude. Yeah. 
<laughs> it made me so uncomfortable that I made that happen. <laughs> Dude, if I'm pl- if I'm playing that and my dad walks in, I'm changing to porn. Yeah. Like I'm I'm changing it's, the it's tab more to porn. Embarrassing than porn. Yeah. The, the yeah. thing was like in this game you can romance pretty much everyone. <laughs> Except Withers, which still breaks my heart. Yeah. That's yeah. actually like a game function. Yeah, you yeah, can, yeah. You can pursue anyone romantically. <laughs> and so I said, what? Can I fuck this weird squid guy? <sighs> and then I and then it starts giving me prompts when I'm talking to him like, Hey, do you want me to hold you? And shit really? like that. And I'm like, No way, it's gonna <laughs> let me do this. <laughs> and I just took it all the way. <laughs> and then the one that initiated it, it says it gave me the option to grab grab a hold of one of his uh, tentacles. <laughs> oh my! Pull him close to you. Fuck. That's hot. I might but have to start play playing. it again. You'll see that. You'll see that. You want me to play it again? Just from the top. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. All right. If what you, is ca- the game if you came back and you think you're safe, Father's you're, you're not three. yet. Because we're gonna we're gonna. Yeah. Take That's the one I've been bro. playing a lot of. Here, look. Oh, I. I wonder if I just missed it. Hold on, play just like a sec. Oh. I'm about to fuck the emperor, dude. <laughs> oh, this is making me so uncomfortable. <laughs> I guess oh, I dude. just barely missed yeah, it. Yeah, you must have missed it at the beginning. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was pretty good, huh? <laughs> pretty funny. 3%. I'm part of the 3%. Yeah. Wow. The elite. <sighs> Pro gamer. I am a programmer. Thank you for acknowledging that. Finally. Are you gonna eat those um, orange chicken? I better if I want to fa- be phased. <laughs> phased up. Yo, brought to you by. What's the other like like? Well, those are really pathetic, like lonely ass food. Uh, well, it used to be like TV dinners, but do those even exist anymore? That was always like the they joke do. when we were kids. Of course, they okay. do. So uh, yeah, TV dinner. I used to eat that shit. My, that's what my dad bought my dumb ass. <laughs> I just eat those all the time, yeah. There you go. Salisbury steak. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> this is sponsored by Hungry Man. Phase up. Hungry Man TV <laughs> dinner. Get yourself a Thanksgiving feast in this Hungry Man phase up edition. Because you don't leave your house and you haven't celebrated Thanksgiving in three years. Isn't that sad? You can buy a Hungry Man TV dinner Thanksgiving edition year round. <laughs> Well, why limit yourself? <laughs> right. I sh- I'm thankful for, for giving uh, year Every round. day. Yeah. Here it is. Uh, Turkey breast hungry just man. Just a wholesome yeah. person, you know. Hold Always up. thankful. 16 and, grams of protein, bro. And listen, no, if, if you eat this then, I mean, God bless you, right? Go for it. Shit. Mm-hmm. Kids cuisine. That's what I used to fuck with. Oh, yeah. The blue ones. Kids cuisine? Yeah. Those were kids TV dinners. It. With the star uh, oh, uh, noodle brownie. ramen, yeah. Oh yeah, the brownie, the pudding <gasps> with the sprinkles. I do yeah. vaguely remember yeah. the kids cuisine. I used to fuck the mac with and those. cheese. They used to give you a sticker, and I had a bunk bed with my brother, and it was covered in those <laughs> kid cuisine, baby. Yeah, that food was trash. Plastic. Yeah. Straight up, <laughs> not probably barely nutritious enough to keep you going. Uh, what did you what did you have an update about, AB? So there's two claims I submitted. One of them said it went through, everything's good. That's eighty dollars, and then the other one says I need to visit with a notary and sign it with a notary. Back in Michigan? I don't know if it's back. No, in Michigan. you don't. No, you can do a notary oh, anywhere. Yeah. Right. But uh, yeah. So what? You just need to bring them your ID. And then this this form, yeah. And how much is th- they probably do that for any amount over a certain amount. This is a hundred and forty six dollars, which makes sense. I mean, it's good. It's important that they don't let people scam this shit right so easy because sure. mm-hmm. it's so easy to find the claims. Yeah, well, that's great. Mm-hmm. But you know, ro- uh, notaries are really easy to do. Mm-hmm. They have them in like post offices. They'll come to your house. Yeah, banks. These people are desperate for work, dude. Pretty cool though. Um, all right, let me check my dad again. Unclaimed property. Have y'all, have you, everyone Smash got that button? Damn, it's still lagging. Is it possible we just destroyed the website? <laughs> Wouldn't it just come back normally? Probably. It might go down for a while. Untra- uh, <laughs> unclaimed property, Google Trend. How, it, but this couldn't read what we're doing right now already, could it? 
That has, and what else could it be <laughs> that it spiked? Twenty three so minutes ago. Yeah, I didn't know it trended so fast. I guess I didn't really realize that either. But yeah. All right, here I got through. Let me type my dad's name. It was very exciting. Let's see what his old ass has here. Ah, <laughs> oh, just gives me this air. Yeah, I think it's runtime air. We fucked it. Probably be okay a little later. Damn. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Here's more red carpet interviews, I guess, that were posted. Ethan asked about Riz. Oh, yeah. This guy was trying to get us to spell, uh... Oh, my I was God. so surprised by that whole moment of the red carpet and then all the interviews. Like, we've never done that, so... I don't know. Never. Did it shock you a little bit? Like, it was I like... I guess I'll describe it. It was like you walk in and there's... A bunch of people taking red carpet photos, so they tell you like, okay, stand here, move over, move over. Mm -hmm. And then you go this way, and there's a bunch of people doing interviews. Like so, 10 people, camera, yeah. mic. And they're like, I had no idea it was, was even going to happen, and it's just like caught me off guard. Like, what's your favorite YouTuber you're excited to watch right now? And I'm like... Jay Shetty. You said Mr. Beast. How do I say it? nobody oh, okay. politely? <laughs> yeah, no, it's a... It definitely, I didn't expect it. I mean, I've never done it before. Number one, yeah. Riz. Riz is what Jay Shetty has in abundance. Riz. Nice. R-I-Z-Z. -Z. Okay, good. Point one. He asked me to spell oh, yeah. it, but I didn't even realize. Yeah. Because I was like, why do you want me to spell Riz? Who is this? Who is he there with, this guy? He... Uh... You know what? No. I don't remember. I can't remember. I don't remember. There was like People magazine. So I went to pick Forbes. up our, our goofy ass... Uh, tuxedo at yeah. a tuxedo shop that it was kind of near the venue and this guy was there getting fit for that suit oh when I really was it up when i saw this video Whoa. Oh. <laughs> it was weird as he was there with like what seemed like his dad and like his grandpa i thought for sure he was like getting fit for like a wedding or something <laughs> and then he was in that suit Pretty but i mean nice. i guess that's sweet that he was you know yeah. he had his, uh he had his maybe he wanted to look help. he wanted to look fly yeah yeah Support. the big event right for sure. he was nice suit. he was a nice he guy. was very nice yeah, he was sweet everyone was nice that we yeah. talked to Barbenheimer. Barbenheimer. A R B. Skirt. S K I R. Is this the best friends girl I can tell? Bussin. Bussin. Yeah, it is. As in, like the food was bussin. The podcast with uh, Dave Porkboy. Is there more of me or is this it? Pork no, boy. It was B U S S I N, but close. Riz. Being a pork boy. R I Z Z. Do you see that he uh, did an episode of Taka? Just came no. out. I just saw it like right before we went live. Some that wow. was on. That's Taka. great, man. That's so great. Can't wait to watch that one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> I love your answer, and it was correct. You heard? You heard? Mm -hmm. uh, y A H E R D. You are. I'm not sure that he can claim the spelling on that one. I'm not sure that one gets spelled enough that he can he can put the U in there instead of the E. I've never heard. You heard? I've never even heard anyone say that to yeah. me, online or offline. R D. How do you spell it? R I Z Z. All right, good job. Uh, Barb. E N H E I N. Go. Mer. <laughs> oh, how do you how do you spell mer? Er. M E R. You did it! Oh my God! Oh, I it. S K I R R T. Skr. There's no I. I'm so glad that I um nailed it. Put my entire life on pause so that I could come spell Riz on the red market. <laughs> red carpet. Red, red carpet. <laughs> What'd I say? Red market. Red, red market. market. I did not say red market. <laughs> 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 oh, I for sure said carpet. I know, it's a silent eye when it's <laughs> slang. I know. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Brianna, thank you so much for coming on the show. Right, so we're playing a fun game here with you. Unilad and my own. Oh, oh you know he's with that. Unilad. With okay. Unilad, there you go. Channel's called Influencer Spelling Bee. I'm testing everyone on oh, the I didn't internet see the words. Okay. Word number one, Riz. Riz is what Jay Shetty has in a book. Okay, whatever. Okay. Oh my By God. the way, I did spell Barbenheimer correct. You did. Yeah. Just so That's you know. Amazing. Very nice. Very I don't nice. like I, the question. I think it's too risky that you're going to make someone look dumb. Because they're easy words to spell. You know, Barbenheimer. Uh. <laughs> you know, it's like spell goat. 
Spell. Yo, I have a friend in the spelling bee, fifth grade. It was so fucking serious. These spelling bees in uh, elementary school, you remember? Because you, you know what spelling bees? I we don't actually have that in Israel. <gasps> Do you know what it is? It's like a competition. Yeah. So, I guess each, like two of the best spellers from each class, go up on stage and the assembly when everyone's there, <laughs> and then they take turns spelling words, mm, and then the stressful. winner goes on to the like county championship mm. and then the county champion goes wow. on to the state championship and then there's even a national spelling bee wow it's crazy yeah and so um in the classroom it's pretty intense even just to get those those coveted two spots <laughs> so one of the girls goes up it's get it starts easy and gets harder mm -hmm. and the first word was of and she okay. said o v <laughs> That's gonna stick with her. Oh, man. Just, yeah, you know, how do you ever get over that? Yeah. And she she was obviously a good speller to right. get there on stage, you know. O V of. <laughs> Everybody laughed at her too, bro. It was brutal. Oh boy. That's too because stressful. Because even my dumbass who's horrible at spelling, I was like, I don't want to spell that. <laughs> what a stupid son of a bitch. Yeah, that's brutal. I don't remember who it was, but I'm sure she's still Poor living girl. with the trauma. <clears throat> I know, man. <laughs> Spelling is dangerous. You can't just ask anyone to spell. Uh, XQC was talking about me, meeting me on the streamies. I I talked about it on okay. Monday. So this is funny. This one guy, I don't know who he is. Me and XQC were talking oh, to yeah, each other, that was so funny. and then one dude came up to take a photo, and then he took a photo of all of us together, and that was the only photo. <laughs> Of me and XQC together, <laughs> and I wondered if people were gonna see that. Yeah, we were saying now this random photo is totally gonna random. <laughs> so that make it. that dude represented the one of the performers that night. Um, he actually, I, he's a fan, okay. the, the guy, um, and he came up to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. you you met him too? Yeah, 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 yeah. So he got a he got the he got a good photo there. <laughs> <laughs> so here's XQC talking about it. I guess people, his fans are calling him a coward for uh, not punching me in the face or something. We were so pressed about like, the, the, the whole H3 thing. I saw him and I was like, bro. I was like, I know like some beefs, like you probably take him like past the screen, but I'm not like that. Like I can't do it. I think it's so, like I like content and whatever. And I'll, I'll like, I'll have beef with people, but like, I think. Is he so dreamy, Olivia? <laughs> He's still thinking about his um streamer's outfit, That's aren't you? Yeah. He's got like that basement lighting right now. Oh yeah, bro. He's backlit and his face is dim. Okay. <laughs> like yeah. like pro shit. The day the heart wants what the heart wants, like, you know. I want that chain. All virtual content, and you're not like a pussy for not like fucking fighting people in real life. Like these are all internet problems, all of them. They're internet debates, internet problems. They're all internet shit. I don't people think that like. I'm gonna go fight him in real life because, um, because of an internet problem. It makes no sense to me. He's so, um, so I don't. I mean, I agree with him. As so, I think what he's doing are real problems. But I agree with him in so far that the way I talk about him online, if I if I see if people don't really expect us to scrap, mm -hmm. you know, I can meet him and say hi and stuff. What's the point of being like a? I don't hate him. Right. On a personal level, I don't hate him at all. Yeah, you're not gonna fight. But I do criticize his actions. But all the chat uh, reaction is, it's all fake, which is not really, it's not like... Oh, not this, at all. What he's saying doesn't mean that the criticism is fake or like it's a fake beef. That's it's, not what it means. It's... Look, my criticism is real. Yeah. What I say about it is real. Just because I... And you guys talked about it even in person. It wasn't like you guys just like brushed it all off. You guys talked I was, about. I asked him about the stuff. watch thing. Yeah. And he, right, I mentioned that already. Yeah. He kept trying to convince me that it was an intentional joke. And I kept asking him, well, what's the joke mm -hmm. then? <laughs> he says, I know you live in a, an expensive house and my watch isn't worth more than your house. I know that. And I said, well, what is the joke? <laughs> he, could, he didn't really have a good answer. He kind of admitted, like, I guess it just <clears throat> flew off or uh, he, he said, went the over. Joke, yeah, the joke it didn't just land. didn't work. Yeah, it didn't land. <clears throat> Do it. Uh, and I always tell people that, that I do it, that, that I don't do it. I don't take problems off the screen. Um, people want to call me a pussy or like two-faced with that. That's, that's fair enough. I don't give a fuck.
you know, I think the way that I criticize people is sometimes, well, you know, I'm out here. I'm pretty, I'm pretty bombastic about things. If I saw him in real life, I wouldn't be like, you're a fucking scammer, bitch, piece of shit, bro. Not that I say that about him online either, but. I think you did, actually. <laughs> more or less. That's more what, or less. That's more what less. started the whole thing. He but saw the is, clip of you saying basically exactly that. But, like, if I was friends with him, I would talk to him about this shit in a more, you know, civil kind of way. Mm-hmm. Because, you know. But online, he's right. It's Things are exaggerated online. Although, you know, you talk to people, you talk to people differently when they're in front of you or, you know, when they're yeah. not. Everybody does. Think about the last, the last time you said something nasty. Mm-hmm. You're not better. You talk mad shit. Mm-hmm. Glizzy, glizzy gang. Do you want to order food dealer or not? <laughs> I'm okay for now. You got to uh, toast it up? Well, yeah. if you're good, then I'm good. Okay. <laughs> it's all for you, girl. <laughs> I'll give a shout out to uh, Zach and Waleed, who were kind enough to have me on their show. <laughs> I thought it was pretty fun. I Waleed- watched, oh, I got a big, big Did you evaluation. Watch it? Yeah, uh-huh. but what? God damn it. What's with this? Yeah, I work at Teddy Fresh. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Waleed is, to- he's the former uh, marketing manager for... Market. China, or no, it's not that anymore. It's Market. Mm, used to be Chinatown Market. <clears throat> and he was so awesome. He had this great uh, presence. He was obviously so good at his job. And they let him go, which is crazy. I know they were downsizing and having problems, but still they let him go. Mm-hmm. And he's friends with Hassan. And I saw him and Hassan doing a barbecue together or something at Hassan's house. And I said, yo, do you know if Waleed is looking for a job? And he put us in touch, and yes, sure enough, we were able Mm -hmm. to uh, get somebody who we have a lot of respect for and admiration for in a professional sense, and we're very fortunate, I feel, to be working with him. But He's already been so great. Yeah, he's, dude, he's really good. And he's like the nicest person. He really is. His disposition is amazing. Yeah. But um, he also, I guess, is part of the Tiny Meat Gang Network. Mm -hmm. And... Mm -hmm. uh, well, he asked me to do like a fake performance review for him, and I thought it was pretty. So it came out today? pretty funny. Mm-hmm. I just jumped out just for this. Um, my, after this episode, I actually got to jump on, and you are dedicated. Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks, so brother. So we got we got to wrap this up fast because got a big big evaluation performance review. Huh? The guy who has the I lost my virginity at the Shen Young. <laughs> you know him. No, I just like that. Oh, there's story. Lot. There's story about it. Apparently, Waleed made that shirt. <laughs> they really they talk funny. about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. want to make sure I'm doing good. Got it. Do you need yeah. me? No, 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 no. I, I'm. I dressed up today. Um, because after this, oh. I'm just gonna jump into the Zoom call. Uh, in one of the rooms and just do a one to one. You look really, really good. Yeah, I hope so. I hope You're gonna so. crush this. I hope so. I hope so. I've been working really hard over there. I know you have. Mm-hmm. Oh, You're balancing yeah. a lot of jobs. Another problem. Yeah. 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 So, anybody have any fun weekend plans? Oh, okay, never mind. I don't want to know your plans. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been unemployed for a bit, but I've you need a whole... pod. I've been yeah. doing this, back and forth, back and forth. Hold this one down for me, huh? Yeah, I'll try to. Yeah, I'll try seriously, to. Jesus. Um, and I, he, I, Ethan's I, your boss. Ethan and Gila, yeah. Nice, yeah, nice. Mainly Gila, but Ethan's there, too, as I'm well. There. He's a good boss. Uh, mm. Yeah, they're great. I mean, you know, very communicative. That very describes nice. my involvement with Teddy Fresh, I think. He's there. <laughs> <laughs> mainly Gila, but he's there. Uh, very supportive. Can you hold so. this for a second? Yeah, I got you. Um, I just need to tie my shoe. No problem. No problem. <clears throat> hey, guys. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I yeah, 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 the intro. Hello. How's it going? Is this yeah. your is this your meeting, Wally? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I thought our evaluation was later today. Hold on, dude. I'm kind of busy. <laughs> what another evaluation? He, he's like, just be super yeah, rude uh, to me. No, another, but like, <laughs> like uh, no a pro- performance <laughs> review. <laughs> no. Dude. Hey, I mean, you're a little needy, bro. I mean, you, it hasn't even been that long. It's like. We just talked about this last week. It's just a little meaty. What do you want to know? Uh, you know, just how, how I've been doing and, uh, you know, <clears throat> and how I've been, you know, performing and, you know, my job and all that stuff. Sorry, do you have a, do you have a camera on by any chance? <laughs> they confused the hell out of me because when I called, 
he went straight into the bit. <laughs> and I was like, is this live? Like, what's happening? Because I thought we'd talk about it beforehand. So, I wasn't sure what was happening. Mm. I like to look at my boss in the eye. Nice. Um. Oh, there, there we go. go. There we go. People were enjoying Mr. the, Klein, the again, angle. Thank okay. you uh, so for all the support. For a second. I just have to chime in with another detail about this: is that you didn't tell oh us God. that you were doing this. Oh. <laughs> and as you're about to see in the video, he's here at the podcast studio. So this was after I want to say it was after leftovers last week or something. Yeah. And we're all in here in the control room working. And from the other room, I just start hearing Ethan lay into him. <laughs> like, as oh, you're about right. to see, of like how he fucked up and he couldn't believe he did this or whatever. And we're all looking at each other like, who the <laughs> fuck is getting chewed out right now? So <laughs> just imagine as you watch this, all of us listening in from the That's other room pretty thinking funny. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, and when I got off, I think Dan was like, well, who is that? Yeah. <laughs> the last few months and I'm just really excited about you know uh, to do this performance review with you and you know would love to hear uh, what you think of my uh, performance nice. <laughs> good, good, good. Um, I don't know man You're, are you usually this needy so we just thought last week your performance review. <laughs> yeah I, 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 I thought that was like more of like a casual conversation I mean I cried and stuff but good um, emotions yeah good. I just wanted to show you know Show that I'm really excited and really, you know, I'm I'm stepping up. Nice, nice. Are you recording this? Uh, because I don't know. Did you clear that with HR? Why? Who is that guy sitting with you? Oh, this is just my uh, this is my podcast. How's it going, going yeah. sir? Sorry, I thought. Am the I on a podcast right now? No, 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 no. What's we're happening, just, bro? We're just. Uh, <clears throat> this is just my Zoom setup. You okay, hired a great one, Ethan. Understand. Yeah, uh, I do not consent for this to go out. No, no, you're okay? all good. You're all good. Uh, <laughs> it won't go anywhere. We promise. Uh, all right, you're not, Mr. Okay, Klein. I just up? wanted to uh, speak on behalf of my uh, best friend here. Mm -hmm. You hired a great kid. Apparently, I didn't hire someone. I like to usually work with people who can, you know, talk for themselves. <clears throat> oh, uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, because, of course. Hey, but every Middle Eastern guy needs a white guy next to him, huh? <laughs> Those are not my words. Uh, is there, is there, you know, anything you want to say of how I've been doing lately? And you know, you're not wearing pants. Oh, huh? You can see that. <laughs> I it was yeah, I can see your whole body. You're not wearing Luke. any pants. Kyle, that's Kyle. weird, bro. No, sorry. This is a uh, screen screen, actually. Um, but there you go. Perfect. Thank you. Um, uh, you've been you've another. Been what, what? This Dell, bro. Is it the Dell? Mischief music, Dan. Mm -hmm. You're getting hit with that Howie mischief music. <laughs> also, well, Mon Monday's a holiday. What is the holiday? Oh, yeah. Monday? Labor Day, Labor baby. Day? That's us. We're the laborers of the world. Right? So, no so we, pod. We were wanting to ask if we were going to have Monday off, but then we didn't have shows all this week, so that felt a little weird to ask about. Um, <laughs> do we have ads on Monday? Oh, that's a good Do we question. have obligations? We have obligations. If, if we see. don't, then I'm totally... Uh, we don't, actually. So, yeah, we'll take Monday off then. Fuck it. <laughs> I think it's nice that we, you know, we should observe the holidays. You guys deserve a day, days off. Mm -hmm. Love that. <laughs> Shout out. I'll watch a little bit more We of haven't this. been working together very long, but, um... One thing I will say okay. is that when you are in the office, and I'm not saying this is you because I don't know. I'm, I can't. But I can't. This isn't an official accusation, more of a coincidence I've noticed. Uh -huh. Is that somebody in the office not flushing? And I've noticed that <laughs> it's usually when you're in the office. You do. You take shits. He takes shits uh, shirtless. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, it's definitely. I mean, listen. I want to make. And I'm sure... not talking about pee pee. I'm talking about <laughs> big floaters, bro. And usually, <laughs> we work with a lot of like really nice, sweet girls. And not that girls don't flush, but it just seems like out of character for them. No, it's definitely and it's only when you're here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I like to keep the bathrooms clean. It's definitely not me. You know, I do see those like uh, the shipping people, the UPS or whatever. They they like to use our bathrooms sometimes. No. You hate skid marks. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. not a skid mark guy. Yeah, I do use the no. bidet. 
Hey, Ethan, you because know uh, guys don't use Well, he wears multiple hats. He's also a writer. Did you know that? <laughs> this is so funny. What does he write? He used fucking, to... fucking letters to all the, the girls who don't want nothing to do with them? <laughs> uh, that and he also used to write for Logan Paul back in what, like 2015? No, 16? no, that was just a bit that we used to. No, do. he uh, the uh, the Force video. No, 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 that was it. <laughs> Logan no. wanted to go to a whole different country, and Walid was like, "Yo, cancel that flight. You're going straight to Japan." That's my guy. Uh, that was that's and it was that, a huge hit. That's not on my resume. That is amazing. That was you? No, that was not me. That Dude, was... you that's hyper yourself up. Come no, on. No, no, I don't want to take credit for that. <laughs> that one. was so yeah, good. That was, that was you, bro. No. No, that was not me, Mr. <laughs> uh, Mr. Clyde. That's amazing content. No, How no. How many views did that you get? You planned that? That's insane, dude. No, that's we insane. did not. That was just, uh, that's a joke that we do on on. Uh, that's great video. That's crazy, bro. You planned that ahead of time? <laughs> no, no. What's wrong with not, you? <laughs> no, 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 no. Mr. Clyde, he all That was the part where you started to, like, yell, and we were like, what's yeah, wrong okay, with you? <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> also, that? I don't know if you can see this shirt. It's, uh, I lost my virginity at the Cheyenne convention. Uh, while he made this shirt, he profited off a Chinese cult and made a fuck ton of money. <laughs> really cool stuff. No, he could do that for Teddy Fresh. No, that was just a shirt I made. <laughs> Damn, that was just a shirt I made uh, online as a gag, as like a, a joke, like a meme, you know. Made a ton of money. Yeah. Promised he would well, donate good. all the funds. Well, that I like. To a, he likes that. that I like. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah. All right. <laughs> good. Good. That Hell I yeah. like. Um, what about like my work ethic? You know, I'm I'm there early in the morning. Uh, Aren't you supposed to be there today? What is today? The Thursday. Yeah. Aren't you supposed to be in a meeting right now with the marketing team? Uh, That's what I thought this phone call was, bro. We have a fucking <laughs> meeting right now, and you're in your podcast filming me without my consent. What is wrong with you? We have your. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what actually is wrong with you, dude? Uh, no, I just uh, I can't help you there. <laughs> no, we pushed that we pushed that meeting back because we wanted to do the performance review. Um, Not in the okay. office. So I sent a message. Uh, yeah, I'm just on my lunch break right now. <laughs> uh, listen, you're okay. Your performance, frankly, not impressive, and I'll tell you why. And it's not just because of the shit you leave in the toilet. Or I'm not, I can't, again, I'm not, that's not an official accusation. Just right, a pattern right, thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, that's my I, HR training. <laughs> the play. I've noticed that you're only here like half the day. No, no, uh, I, I'm there pretty, you just don't see me all the time, you know, because you're, you're so busy and all those meetings and stuff. So you, It's not very long, but it's fun. I don't know if you guys want me to keep watching it, but it's, it's on his channel. Zach and Waleed show. The Zach and Waleed show. Great guys. Good parts. Nice. Nice. That was fun. Look what Cam sent you. Oh. We got. Oh Jesus! This is one of the the. Was he? Yo, yo. This is one of the angles that dropped from that <laughs> phone call. Glizzy <laughs> destroyer, bro. <laughs> I'm like a titan, but I eat glizzies instead of people. <laughs> or maybe they're people hot dogs. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty disturbing. I'm very, ins one more. I'm oh, very inspired powerful. by this. Yo. Whoa, that's sick. nice, Cam. <laughs> oh, these are good. It's a powerful camera angle. Yeah, it really is. Um, I'm gonna watch a little bit longer because it's funny. You probably Did just you don't see, see the other one he sent. Oh, there's another one? Here, I got it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is actually pretty good. That is so good. That might be my favorite. That's like ever. right on, man. <laughs> that is so sick. That's awesome. Zach. Zach's going crazy back there. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, no, were no, you no. tempted to play chestnuts when I was talking about Shredder? I was actually crying myself, so I oh. was in no place of mind to, to do that. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Appreciate you. I want to be... I know the comedic thing would be to play it, but <laughs> I love you guys too much to do that. So. Thanks, bro. Yeah. I'm not sure if I was ready for a chestnut. Yeah, I, I don't feel like it was appropriate in any way, sure. I wouldn't have been mad, though. I have it, I have it coming. <laughs> but I'm not sure I'm ready for it. No, I look. I see. I have cameras, bro. I'm watching. I said, where the fuck is Waleed? And this guy does not come to work. He thinks he's above it. You know, COVID is over, bro. It's time to fucking come to the office, man. 
Uh, I don't like it. I don't like that. No, no, I'm not listening. Work from home, not for me. I, like I hate my house. So I, anytime I could be in the office. You were also a COVID denier. No, no, Zach. <laughs> and he's not vaccinated also. What? <laughs> no, I'm back. I have my card. I have, sorry, Ethan. I'm, uh, also, I got to say, like, I like your ideas in general. Mm-hmm. But that one where you were going to use the N word was so out of line. <laughs> no, that right, was. Why would you put that in our marketing? It, it, it was supposed to get a reaction. That, that was the whole point of the campaign. It was supposed to be racist on this pod and not anywhere else. No, well, it was a good idea. Oh. Yeah, I mean, listen, don't not. It's fun. Go watch it. Zach and Waleed. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was a fun interview. Shout out. Shout out to Waleed, the guy. We love him. <laughs> Itching my eyes. <sighs> so you're rash? It might be. Oh, I got some health updates. Oh? Um, so, the rheumatologist, after checking more of my blood points, there doesn't believe that I have lupus. Good news. But, oh boy. He does believe that there's something. Well, so one of the markers for inflammation was elevated. So there is something going on. It could be allergy. It could be something autoimmune. It could be um, uh, uh, infection. So we're just going to keep following up on it. But right not, now, this not, rash. Not lupus. He does not believe I have lupus because the other. There's other biomarkers for it, and they were all negative. Um, really? But my facial rashes are just getting worse. They're not going away. So I need to go see a dermatologist, and I'm going to ask her. He told me next step is to see a dermatologist and see if they can tell us what they think about these rashes. Because mm-hmm. I got it all around my eye. It just will not go away, man. Mm-hmm. So I stopped treating it with this uh, steroid uh Vaseline Grim. shit, mm-hmm. and it's just coming back so so much. So I'm just I'm gonna try to get it as bad as it can just naturally be, so the derm can get a good look. Are you mad that I don't have lupus, Dan? <laughs> I'm not mad, but no. <laughs> you seem mad. You seem annoyed that I don't have lupus. This man's been farming lupus <laughs> for a <laughs> month. So true. There is something wrong. Okay, that's fair. The best guess was lupus. Sorry, I don't have lupus, Dan. Was it the best guess or was it your guess? No, it was, was the it best Chad guess. GPT's it was suspected. Guess. Mm. <laughs> it was the most likely. <laughs> all right. All okay. Right. Two, I'll, I'll well, I'm glad you don't have lupus. Obviously. Doesn't sound like it. <laughs> okay. To be fair, I'm going to confess something to you guys. I told Chat, chat, BT, chat GPT <laughs> all of my symptoms. Yeah. And I said, make a list based on how likely you think it is. Lupus yeah. was number one, but there was one I didn't tell you guys that was above lupus. Mm. Uh-oh. It was that it's, I'm probably fine. <laughs> 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 I said, do you think what's more likely, lupus or that it's just a false reading? And they said, most likely it's a false reading based on the stats and no symptoms. You are Diabolical. <laughs> but it was close. It was close. They had to crunch the numbers. That yeah, was real close. You would no. literally sign off. You'd be like, all right, guys, I've got lupus. No, I genuinely <laughs> believe I had loop. Dude, the anatider is still raised. People Loop-dee. don't know. And, my, and I'm inflamed, man. It's not nothing. One I'm of, inflamed. In one of the interviews on the red carpet, he, he had a lupus bonding with one of the girls there. That <laughs> you <laughs> fiend. <laughs> you can't do that. Well, I said, I might. She said, what's the problem you're dealing with right now? I don't know. You're a faker. I was going to say, oh, my, my God, dog's my dying. I was going to say that. Stolen valor. Baker. So I said, I don't know. I might have lupus. And she goes, I have lupus. Oh, and then I was like, no. why does ev- it seems like everybody has lupus? I didn't know. And then the other girl goes, I have two Oh yeah, your PR yeah, person goes. Right. I have two pe- friends that have lupus. Yeah, and who's got lupus? <laughs> Damn. But uh, not me apparently. Next so time. I apologize to the lupus Get community. <laughs> I might still have it. I lupus mean, I'm, baiting. Probably not. Yeah, what do you I think mean it's possible? Mean, what, what is this lingering like yearning? <laughs> <laughs> the doctor said you don't have it. He said, no, he said you don't have lupus. He said that I, so far on what we've seen, I don't believe you have lupus. He didn't say you don't have lupus. 
Because I have biomarkers. I got, and I'm inflamed. Right, right. And speckled. <laughs> I'm speckled and homogenous, bro, which usually tends to indicate yeah. lupus. Google ho speckled and homogenous, bro. I think you I might remember, have lupus. I remember, I remember. I hope you do. Remember well. You know what? I believe in you. I think you have lupus. <laughs> I do too. Thank you. <laughs> See, somebody cares. Absolutely, girl. Somebody cares. My lupus, girl. Uh, we've got... I guess we should talk about the... What, what was the main stories here? Oh, Streamies, the Yeah, okay, and then the vloggers. Let's talk about that. The I vloggers. I hear about that. Okay. I haven't read anything, so I'm dying to hear the story. So I had not heard of... I think maybe we talked about her a while ago because she was doing some fucked up shit. We thought we had, and then we realized it was another family no. vlogger. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, it's like I we never heard the name with. Eight Passengers. Yeah. No, there, there's a clip of her saying like, uh, "My son lost his bedroom privileges for six months," and I'm oh, pretty yes, sure we watched that, that on the show. Yeah. Oh, did I we? do remember okay. that. Because at first I thought it was the lady who teed her son up to cry. That's in what the I video. thought. Oh, no, 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 no. This is different. Yeah. Totally different person. It's a different yeah. blonde vlogger mom. <laughs> Far worse. And actually. what we found yeah. out is that though this wasn't really on our radar, uh, like some of the other family vlog channels are, it very much was on a lot of, like, there was like people, there was watchdogs following this channel because mm -hmm. they knew something yeah. Awful was going on here. Swoop has a super long video detailing that oh, really? within this past yeah. Yo, when's year. When's that interview drop room? I want that she interview, girl. She posted today. I know. She posted today, like, the link to this, because she was like, I'm finishing the Josh edit right now, but as of right now, watch this documentary I, I made on them. I need the Josh interview, mm -hmm. Swoop. Do I do need do. it as well. Swoop, I'm so there excited. there it is. <laughs> Swoop, there I it is. Need, come on, yeah, come on. I want the truth. <clears throat> Swoop's going to give the truth. So this is her, and she is just a villainous fucking, like, like when you hear about s people who become serial killers, they have moms like her. Mm. Mm. That's basically how I could describe her. And uh, of course, what's the chosen profession? Family vlogger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what is something that we always say needs regulation is actually sick, immoral by the very act of it existing without oversight or anything? Family vloggers. Yeah. Why is nobody regulating this? I don't know. They're starting to. Remember, we talked about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah it, Illinois. Illinois. Use something. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube should care. I don't. Right. I know they don't. Like, I know it's easy to say, but shouldn't they care? Like, there's been enough of these, man. Family vloggers? Why are we enabling these fucking freaks to farm cash off their abused children, man? Because it's just such a, uh, I don't know. It's, it's such a blurry line, which is the problem. But, like... I mean, obviously this content is not for me. I don't watch family vlog channels. I have to imagine that there are plenty out there that are wholesome and fairly innocent. You, you know just don't I mean? know, it's though. It's just, uh... But, but... Yeah, there's some good cops, too. There's just too <laughs> right, much of a right. gray area. Yeah, I agree. The, you know, that point doesn't even really matter. Yeah, but just I'm thinking from YouTube's perspective yeah. of, like, you know, this these are big channels. They're generating a lot of traffic, a lot of revenue. That's that's how they I always just, look at I, it. I'm not saying, like, ban them. I think them. they're, pro from YouTube point of view, they're probably just thinking it's not our responsibility, so somebody yeah. else should deal with it. Yeah, that, gener that usually you know, is their point of view. I remember a long time ago, YouTube was like, we're standing up for fair use. And now when creators get sued for fair use, we're going to help pay for their legal fees. I don't believe they ever did a single fucking mm. thing for that. Huh. Where's my legal fees, well, fuckers? <laughs> we've learned that we wanted to do that, too. And it's quite difficult. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, anyway. So, let me take you through what actually happened here with Passengers of Five. By the way, or pass Eight Passengers, which, by the way, <laughs> the name itself is a little... Yeah. Eight Passengers? <laughs> well, you just... It sounds like a, it sounds like when they announced like how many people died in a crash. <laughs> <laughs> there were eight passengers aboard, right. and uh, no, yeah, yeah. nobody survived. It is very removed. It makes me think of eight personalities. <laughs> eight personalities. Eight cycle. Like Dexter Morgan had his dark passenger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. She's got eight. Oh, there's eight <laughs> passengers in her psyche. Right. Yeah. Oh, I like that actually. <laughs> He's fucked. She got eight. <laughs> So, uh, they're Mormon. Oh, my God. Great. <laughs> they're Mormons from Utah. Easy. 
great. I mean, at. dude, I've seen, I've watched a lot of Mormon. Listen, up I've yeah. watched Salt Lake City <clears throat> Housewives. I saw a documentary about. I murder know a lot and, about them now. <laughs> murder in the Mormon Church is a Netflix documentary. Right? It's crazy. Yes, dude, the Mormon, the Mormons get up some weird shit in their secret chambers. Mm -hmm. They have secret chambers where they do their underpants ceremonies, and they do weird shit there, bro. Have you ever seen the videos from those? It's so no. creepy yeah, and weird. So bizarre. Somebody uh, did a under camp, secret cam into the the secret chambers of the Mormon Church. Yeah, it's very odd. Mm. It's very very odd. Because, like, what they do in the deep inner circle is very different than what they project outwardly. Mm -hmm. It's very secretive and very different. Kind of like Scientology was, in a mm. way. And uh, if you're offended by that, just remember that it's not really that different from your uh, religion. Oh, God, stop being an edgy atheist, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you know. Believe in God. I'm not here to convince you there's no God, okay? Do your thing. Believe in God. Yeah, believe in God. I, don't I am. Care. Yeah, we're here to convince God. God did. I, God did. Well, <laughs> listen, follow this story and then you'll, you'll stop believing in God real fast. According to records from Washington County God Sheriff, did. Ruby was arrested under suspicion of two counts of intentional aggravated child abuse. Her husband was also arrested for the same thing. No, no, her business partner. Oh, business also, partner, yeah. Jody. That's the girl she did the podcast with? Yes. That's crazy. Yeah. So they arrested her business partner, who I'll introduce later. Mm -hmm. As of right now, her hus they don't know if her husband was involved or not. Yeah. He's pro if Based on what I'm saying, he's probably just a victim of hers, too. Oh, okay. She's like really? a real Is sucky that, bitch. Is that crazy? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It was reported... Okay, this is... I guess this is probably triggering, so... Trigger warning. It's not super graphic, it's just really disturbing. Okay. It was reported that a child climbed out of Jody's home window and ran to neighbors for help. Oh, wow. Jesus. The child asked the neighbor for food and water. The child also had uh, duct tape wrapped around their wrist and ankles. What the fucking... A fuck? YouTube family vlogger? Yeah. 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 No way. Yeah, that's what the fuck's going on here. Wow. The neighbor also noticed that the child was malnourished, emancipated, and had op uh, emaciated and had open wounds. Needed to uh. be emancipated. This yeah. is straight up like horror movie stuff. Like Dateline shit. Dateline, yeah. Probably will be in. So, yeah. Uh, after the child was taken to the hospital, another child was recovered from the home and also needed uh, medical care. What? The family vlogging channel, eight passengers, they had 2.5 million subs. Wow, that's crazy. But it was taken offline earlier this year for unknown reasons. And I'd like to know, it's something had to be going down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's these, these clips under this uh, number. A lot of people started criticizing them when they started picking up on these things. Mm -hmm. And after a few more instances, um, it was just vanished like their channel just vanished so what happened were they punished did they leave were they getting like probably child protective services checking in on them but yeah they may have gotten cc uh ccp <laughs> uh protective services show up at their house and freaked out and wanted to like delete the evidence or something well who maybe or youtube took it off um the thing is, like, and as far as I can tell, this is their primary source of income, and that's what's so fucked up about this. You, were, you She's depending on her kids mm -hmm. for income. That's mm -hmm. just perverted, you know? So mm -hmm. this channel goes offline, and then she start, goes, you know, ballistic on her kids. The, the very nature of the relationship is does not make sense. I'm sorry. The family vlogging is fucked by default. I don't care yeah. how wholesome the family is. You're using your kids. My problem is that the kids cannot fully consent because they don't really know the meaning of it long yeah. term for their whole life. Well, would you say the same thing about kids in Hollywood movies? Maybe. The majority of which do get fucked up, by the way, it seems like. Yeah, I, I think, might, they have pretty I bad might say the same thing about them, yeah. I think that there is an argument to be made for that. At least in Hollywood, there are years of these cases of severe abuse that have, have led to regulation. And also when it comes to that, there is still, I mean, obviously a parent can still kind of like manipulate their kid into it, but there's, I think that there is an important distinction between going through an audition process, going to a set, a professional setting and shooting something 
versus having every moment of your life at home. At <clears throat> home. Right. Yeah. It's that mixture of home. There is yeah. no boundary whatsoever. There's no boundary, which I think that's that's what makes it particularly nefarious. Uh, yes. Nasty thing to do to your kids, man. Um, so here is previous clips that surfaced, I guess, when people started noticing something was off about this family. And uh, here's a, I think we, we may have watched these at the time, but this was a couple years ago. So here is uh, the lady, the mom. Let me turn up the quality. Why is it so low? Or is this just the I think, well, because these are re-uploads. Yeah, probably. because the channel was taken down. So yeah. these are like compilations that people had made of re-uploads. Mm -hmm. um, so, so here she is. Yeah. Eve did not pack a lunch today. And can I bring a lunch over to the school? She's this Eva happens six. quite often. Six years old. She's talking about her daughter. Then when you're having raising children, um, because I know that her teacher is uncomfortable with her being hungry and not having a lunch, and it would ease her discomfort if I came to the school with a lunch. Um, but I I responded and just said. Eve is responsible for making her lunches in the morning, and she actually told me she did pack a lunch. So the natural outcome is she's just going to need to be hungry. And hopefully, hopefully nobody gives her food and nobody steps in and gives her a lunch. Can I explain the- By the I might do. My parents did the same shit to me. Really? But they weren't like, nobody feed him. <laughs> my parents, dude, they, they sent me out on my own so early. But there six? was food. Yeah. Probably, no, they didn't do it at six. What's six? Like first grade, kindergarten? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, they didn't yeah. They didn't cut me loose that early. It's more like in middle school. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine your your beautiful, precious six-year-old? She's... It's, it's off, right? It's pretty off. Pretty off. It is very off, yeah. What is this? The There's a whole Worst Moments compilation? Seven? Yeah, the two I linked are the most damning okay so there's that one uh which is like damn so callous to your beauty to your poor child jeez man i guess this is probably her she's very young yeah that's sad I bet. here's this here's this one too and they put she remember she this shit was so normalized that she thought this was fine to share Right. was taken away for seven months and then you give it back like a couple weeks ago. Yes, I, I do remember this clip. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> you were uh, sleeping on a beanbag. I was sleeping on a beanbag in October. <laughs> and they gave my room back like two weeks ago. Oh, I'll give yeah. you the reason why I lost my bedroom. I think so. I think this is the reason. And at least this is the reason that's been in my head. It's pretty funny, but now that I look back, I mean, it's pretty depressing. No, we never told our viewers. That I woke Russell up at 2 in the morning and told him that we're going to Disneyland and he has to pack. <laughs> and he got up and made his bed all neatly and then packed all his clothes in a suitcase. And then he walked out the door and I'm like, Russell, and he's like, what? And he's all happy. Has his sunglasses on. Do you think it's... She took his room away for seven months uh -huh. for doing a... Admittedly mean prank on his little bro, but not that crazy. You know, that's just brother shit. Funny because... And then I walked out. And if you <coughs> think it's funny, then you... That was seven months ago. Maybe you need longer without a bedroom. It... No, it was not funny. That's insane. <laughs> Russell got the big bedroom and Chai got the, the smaller bedroom. Smaller. And Russell's bigger bedroom also had a bathroom. But what you guys didn't know was... <laughs> Chad didn't get any room. Mm -hmm. He didn't He didn't get anything. He was sleeping on the floor in the family room. Abby, we took the phone cool. away from Abby. Seven months. Um, How do we fix that, Dan? What, what is it? A piece of hardware or a cable or what? We're not exactly it's, sure. We're back? Yeah, you're good. I think. Oh, excuse me. So here she is, I guess, uh, bragging about how she punishes her kids. In November. Oh, and and, and you, may, you may never get the phone back. Probably not. No, I don't know. So there's little things, you know. Yeah. Although, very much the tip of the iceberg in terms of what really? she's actually capable. Like, you could see that and be like, these people are dysfunctional as shit. Mm, yeah. But I would never dream that it was actually... As bad as it was from those two clips. Uh, in 2020, 
Frank announced that she'd be starting a new channel with her business partner, Jody, who's a therapist called Connie Zions. And now, again, this is the other girl who was arrested for child abuse. Mm. Her business partner, the therapist. Oh, God, it just got her. Wait, this was up the other day. When did it yeah, get? Yeah, the channel was taken down yesterday. Mm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Do we have any re-uploads or anything? Yes, right here. Uh, some label this therapy mommy support group as a cult because it teaches, uh, has been labeled a, as a cult because its teachings have been labeled as damaging, extreme, and hurtful. One example is they teach that children should not be loved unconditionally and that kids do not deserve privacy from their parents. Oh, that's an interesting take. Kids do not deserve <laughs> unconditional love. Wow. That's crazy. Well, yeah, no, I'll tell no you what. Inspirational. Yeah, of course your kids you fucking get... hate you and you hate your kids when that's your attitude. I owe you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, is this the right link? Why well, have so many kids when you hate them? You don't get personal space. That is one, that is one of the question, you know, and, and... I think it's just cruelty. Mm -hmm. She just likes having these little toys, slaves, power. It's really, really pathological. Because this is my space. Because I'm the parent. Let me go back a little bit. You don't get personal space. Because this is my space. Because I'm the parent. If you want your own personal space, you'll need to get your own space. This is mine. And what does that mean? Buy a house to an eight-year-old? As long as you're living in my home, it is my job to know everything about you. You don't get to sneak, you don't get to hide, you don't get to have secrets. Not in my house. Do you see how loving that is? There was a time, I'll find a, I'll find a photo I had just had. And again, she's putting this out there like, I'm the, yeah. I'm a good mom. Russell, and Julie was just crying a lot and whiny, and, and one day I looked at her and I'm like, you just stink. She had like peed her pants or something, and she, it was just cause she was being neglected, cause I was totally paying attention to the new baby. Oh my mm. god. What? What? You're not, that's, what? Dude, that's really fucked. Yeah. Um. But no, do you have any up re-uploads of their channel she had with the the therapist? Um, the channel that was removed. Before it was taken down. I didn't grab anything. Let me see if I can grab. Connie that Zion. was part of their teachings. So I have a whole Google Doc that go. the eldest daughter put together with fans to help prove the abuse. Oh, so the eldest daughter, is she someone in this photo? Or is she like gone? Uh, I'm guessing she's in this photo. Let, let me see. Uh... The eldest daughter of the family posted on Instagram stories praising and thanking law enforcement for finally stepping in. Mm. Um, apparently, they were trying to get someone to help them for a, a long time. Wow. Uh, here is a document that she compiled. Yes, she's on the far right of that photo. Oh, this mm. is her. Okay. Yeah, in the orange jacket. Allegedly, this was started Allegedly, by her. This, is her. this uh, doc was started by her, but that's what I'm seeing. Um. So she. So is this what she posts on on her Instagram story? Yes. Okay, so it's not really alleged. She posted it to her story. Right. Oh, I think you're talking about the Google. I'm talking, talking about, about the doc. doc yeah. Aspect. I'm just it. finding out about the doc right now. Okay, so yeah. here's this. Okay, here's her stories. Uh, that the eldest daughter. She says, finally. Can you imagine? Mm. Wow. It's so sad. That's Hi, crazy. all. Today has been a big day. Me and my family are so glad justice is being served. We've been trying to tell the police and CPS for years about this. Wow. So glad they finally decided to step Why up. Why would they take so long? The system is broken. I can't I mean, how do long. you... If you really have an evil fucking witch of a, of a mom... Yeah. Like, I gotta assume that she's can be pretty deceptive about all that stuff. Right. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. But at the I don't know. I, I would have to know the details of like yeah. who did they who did they talk to? How many times did they complain? Yeah. Because yeah. if you it's have like a few complaints from the kids, then like you need to look into that more. The verbiage of finally decided to step up makes me think that 
it took them a second to care. I have no problem believing that uh, the police are incompetent fucking yeah. losers mm -hmm. that don't care about anything. The kids are safe, but there's a long road ahead. Please keep them in your prayers and also respect their privacy. I need your help. If you have links to any questionable or concerning connections or eight passengers videos, please DM them to me. Too much for me to sort through myself. More specifically, connection stuff. We are aware of most of the eight passenger things already. I don't really know what that is. This about. is the podcast with her freak okay. partner that was arrested, who's a therapist. Okay. Um, that's a shame. I was just looking at that channel. Oh. I wonder if it was YouTube or them that removed it. Probably them. So here's the here's the document. God damn. It's really well organized. If you scroll down, it's there's columns of what channel it was on, what occurred in the video. What happened? It's closed? Well, is if showing this doc in a gift like is this safe to show to so many people? Mm. If if people can just go in there and edit it. Probably not best to blast it. Oh yeah, definitely it. not. If it's editable? Well, if maybe hopefully you need permission or something. Why do we have how, do we have permissions? To edit it? I'll check just mm. to know if or not. Every time I open it, it closes though. I'm not sure what's going on with it. That's weird. Just force closes the browser. Yeah, a lot of people agree and also confirm from personal experience that parents like this can be super deceiving and yeah. manipulative and like... I mean, they're sociopaths. Yeah. That's what they do. That's what they're good at. So it's hard to get out of that. Uh, it's freezing on me now too. It says some tools may be unavailable due to high traffic. Well, if there's anything interesting in there, just pull it. Yeah. You know? Um... God damn it, it keeps closing my document. One sec, I'm just opening my document. Thank you, Zach. Appreciate that. All right, here it is. So, the eldest, Ruby's sister, Bonnie, posted a video on YouTube where she says, it feels like a weight has been lifted as we now know our nieces and nephews are safe. That video has also been taken offline for unknown reasons. Hmm. Ruby's siblings posted this joint statement on their Instagram this morning. Jeez. Let's see. Um, for the last three years, we have kept quiet on the subject of our sister Ruby Frank, for the sake of her children. Behind the public scene, we have done everything we could to try and make sure the kids were safe. We wouldn't feel right about moving forward with regular content without addressing the most recent events. Wait, are they also content creators? <laughs> Looks oh, like they are. That's what it sounds like. It... They yes. are, definitely. Maybe it's a- maybe it's just take that as a sign to mm -hmm. get a yeah. new fucking job. Yeah, they should stop. You know what I mean? We want to feel job. right about moving forward with regular content without addressing the most recent events. Once we do, we will not be commenting on it further. Oh, that's good for you. Ruby was arrested, which needed to happen. Jody was arrested, which needed to happen. The kids are now safe, which is the number one priority. This statement's a little sus. Yeah. A little convenient. And again, I don't know this, the particulars, so this is just my opinion here. She says, for the last three um, years, we have kept quiet on the subject. Is that it, implying that they knew? And they, yeah. Yeah. Did they like collab? Were they doing cross collabs and shit? The um, chat is saying that the whole family is vloggers, so... See, that's fucking... Mm, that's not... You guys gotta... You guys gotta give that up. It's time to move on. So this is her sister. It looks like her. This was from two days ago. Well, our plan was to do a podcast today, but little Miss June slept until 11, and I decided to do laundry instead. Leave your podcast request below, and we will start knocking them out. She slept till 11? That's unusual for a baby. So I I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. Yo, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> 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 
What the hell? What? Oh. Y'all are mean. I didn't say anything. I didn't say a damn thing. The baby is precious. She is so oh. beautiful. My God, perfect angel. Sorry. Love that beautiful smile. So does she have other sisters that also make content? So apparently, that's what it sounds like. Okay, so here's her one sister who's like, uh, uh, we ain't got nothing to do with them. Yeah. My family vlogs the good one. <laughs> I love him. He's that's, my fave. He looks like the LeBrant dude. He does. Yeah. It's the Jays. I bet they're super religious too, huh? They're yeah. like super Christian. Mormon. Oh yeah, they're Mormon, so they are yeah. super religious. Yeah. Adult incest. Oh yeah, that totally jives. Mm -hmm. They've got a Mormon glaze. Yeah. Like the, the Mormons. Well, I've like learned about it from plastic. Housewives. <laughs> they they strive the to look perfect. Yeah, that's part of like their thing. What's your argument? You can tell there's like a sheen. Like their eyes are just. They, it's, just gl it's really important every, for them to look perfect. It's just like. Uh, <laughs> Oh, it's just like saran wrapped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? It's a Mormon. It's the Mormon glaze. You'll you'll see it. You'll know it when you see it. You'll I notice. Know now. exactly what you're talking about. I do too. Yeah, yeah no, I, I get that. it. I know what you They're mean. They're sparkly. Okay. They he, both got it. He literally looks like he could be the Le, LeBron dude's brother. They might know each other. Shit, you never know. Small world in the family vlogging world. Brother and sister want to make love. Okay. <laughs> Dennis. Please. And then they got their kids in suits. Like, I'm sorry, that's so Mormon. Dennis Family says, vacation, and you got them dressed up in a suit. Leave these fucking kids alone. Montana, you are, you you took them to Montana and made them put on a suit. Stop it. Maybe it's just a family photo. <laughs> People who do mm, okay, I'm not gonna say too much. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. <laughs> this dude is glazed the fuck up like a damn donut. So all three sisters have channels. Oh, that's okay. really fucked up. That's so interesting. That's really fucked up. Let's find the other one. Yeah, so here's one. They they cross posted. So here's the other one, Julia. Uh, let's check out if they're glazed up. Here they are. Here's the happy couple. Uh, I, that I see it. You said. Let me see if I can find a more glazed photo. Here, this look. one, yeah. <laughs> oh wow. He can't hide it. He's not good at hiding it. She does. She's glazed. <laughs> but he he's not good at glazing up. He you know what I mean? The wrinkles, mm. the eyes, something in him betrays the glaze. He's sneaking drinking coffee on the side there. <laughs> or maybe it's not it's because he's not a perfect Aryan human being like all these other people we looked at. <laughs> Do they all have a bunch of children? That's part of the Mormon thing too. Yeah, like pro life. Just, yeah. Repopulate the earth, bro. Pro-life, pro-abuse. <laughs> right. Bro, you gotta have that baby so I can duct tie it up. And they're saying Bonnie. It. Bonnie's another influencer sister, so there's, there's another, another one. So there's a third one. And so that, that one wasn't involved in the statement. Here, let's check out this glaze. Where is Bonnie? Um, I think... This one's glazed. He's more glazed up here. <laughs> What? Oh, I can scroll? Get the wrong <laughs> song. Yeah, <Bonnie>. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't, I don't even like looking at these pictures of their kids. It's so intimate. I don't, you know what I mean? Right. Like, this is not for me. Bonnie's the one whose video was taken down. Oh. Oh, she made a video about it. Yeah. Where she said that um, she insists that the family did as much as they could. They're probably getting a lot of shit. But... Again, it's just, it's just, it makes, does make me wonder. You have to admit that the Daru crew vlogs, it's the Daru, I'm sorry, y'all made this, you made this banner. The Daru crew? Like y'all made this banner and put it up. The banner seems okay. <laughs> it's just, What's it's the glazed. The <laughs> it is glazed. It is glazed. <laughs> That's what you want for a family vlog. You want it glazed up. Here, let's look at the, the newest, the, the most popular uploads. They're all. The Rue Crew is a is a catchy name too. I gotta say, twenty four hours Rue. with a two month old, and then what happens after the twenty four hours? <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> twenty four hour challenge. You put it. You give it back. <laughs> oh, let's see the glaze. Let's see the glaze. All right, you ready to talk about baby names? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's the glazed version of us. 
You think so? Talking about baby names. Right. You guys have a different timeline. They had, look at the Jesus, so they're totally all about God. Yeah. Jesus said, Thou shalt duct tape thy child's legs and hands, and starve thy children if they disobey. Jesus said, Thou shalt force your kids into slavery. Make as much money from them as possible, Lord. And don't forget in Ezekiel 25, 7, where they said, Starve your children to death if they do not obey every command. You send in the wolf? Um, in Jesus' name, amen. Hope here said that the, the ruse are the most normal out of all the siblings. So let's look are at the Are these the ruse? Yeah. Our baby I just want to get this glaze on. The Drew Crew. Dude, do you know who that guy kind of looks like? We thought it would be fun to... Hold on. This is your young Mitt Romney, who is also a Mormon glazer. Oh, shit. He looks just like Mitt Romney as a young man. Oh. Um, a super Mor chat. Mor yeah. Ariel King said, Colleen's brother, Chris, has six kids and are still family vlogging. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying, man. If you could make a list of all these successful family vloggers... And you start making tie-in and seeing who they're involved with and what the fuck they've been up to. Idiot. It just ain't right, man. It takes a special kind of parent. Because you know, in the, if you're sane, you know in the back of your mind that what you're doing is not, is not oh, good for that I child. I think they're in denial. They're convincing themselves that what, they're just like, they're seeing the money and they're Blood boiling. You know, I guess justifying they, in their head. They could rationalize, like, I could just be with my kids all day. Right. You know? Yeah. Let's see the glaze. Let's talk about our kids' names and where they came from. Because a few of you have asked, and so we are going to start with Emma. Yep. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Just so judging y'all. It was personal for both of us, actually. When we met, we were working at an assisted living home as CNAs. And one of our favorite residents at this place was named Emma, um, and she was she was a fun lady. We got along with her family. This guy's glazed as shit. Let's name our daughter after you know the the fun lady. We loved her. <laughs> she, that's such a glazed answer. We, we love. We her. this is like the perfect life thing. We both were doing ch this wonderful charity, helping in assisted living, and we both <laughs> become best friends with this wonderful lady Emma. She changed our life. Let's see what she says. Really well, and we just loved her. We, we loved love Emma. Um, and then a few years after we stopped working there, she ended up passing away. And then Emma came along, and we just it just fit. It just, oh we just my knew. god! I think we knew like as we were taking care they of this resident. She, uh, I don't know. I try to keep. Like, Thou shalt profit off thy children, <laughs> Lord, and give them nothing. Set all the earnings into your bank account. And kick them out of the house when they turn 18, Lord. <laughs> Children were created for the benefit of the parents. And nothing more. Amen. <laughs> Get yourself a glizzy. <laughs> Feed your children only glizzies, for they are an affordable, good source of protein, Lord. <laughs> okay, so these are the normal ones? Yeah. That's what... I, I'm going off of what I read in chat. So then... So then, who's the third sister? Who's the most uh, unlikable one? Gotta except, be her. except for the main. Is I it Bonnie? Bon Bonnie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, these people's sister just got arrested for tying up and starving their kids. And they're just like, they're still they're like, listen. Yeah, that was weird. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that again. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you, there's going to be some questions. Damn. Yeah, let's look at Bonnie. Let's look at Bonnie Hullelin. Bonnie Hullelin. Oh shit. Okay. Let's take a look at her. So this is Bonnie. Look at this glaze. Ah oh, damn it, it's a video. And she just put out a statement about it, her latest post. Listen. Okay. Ah. Oh, it's the same thing. Oh, they shared it. I see. Yeah. So awesome. 
Dude, I love that they included, once we do this, we will not be commenting on it further. Yeah. Off limits, guys. No more questions. We did our part, now you shut, shut up. That works out when the subpoena comes. Shut up and consume right. our glazed yeah. content. The, the grand jury might have about this questions. for a while, actually. Yeah. Actually, up. that might be good advice from your lawyer, because the FBI is definitely going to be coming. Right. Hopefully. Shut up! Now, just imagine, like, <clears throat> let's put this in another context. Let's say you have three brothers, same family, same line of work. One of the brothers, they work for the same company, they do the same job. What's your argument? Where are you going with that? One of the brothers gets arrested for... Mm, it's gonna get kind of dark if I keep going down this path. Yeah, I don't like this path already. But you know where I'm going. <laughs> oh, so one of the brothers it ends up to be like a serial killer. <laughs> okay. Now these people spent all day together. They knew each other. They were in the same line of work. You, th who do you think is going to get questioned about that? Right. No more yeah. questions. No <laughs> questions. We won't be speaking on this. No, we won't be speaking about this any further. What's your argument? Yeah, what? we've known about this. They start by going, "Yeah, we've known about this." <laughs> For anyway, years. no more questions. <laughs> anyway, normal content resuming tomorrow. Yeah. No more questions, <laughs> these guys. It's about the kids, please. Pretty good. So wait, where did, um, she sent me her YouTube channel. It was right about that. Oh, I got it. I like Thank right you. That. Bonnie. Bonnie. Oh, look oh, at that glaze. <laughs> See, that's a glaze Yo. banner. Dude, yeah. Yo. we need a podcast banner Whoa. like this. I didn't have a problem with Daru oh. Cruz banner, but that is a glazed ass banner. Holy Shining, shit. shimmering, splendid. That's such phony bullshit. Yeah. Ain't no family really like that anywhere. The roots kind of need to step it up a little. Yeah, Ain't Bonnie's no all over the shit. 1.4 million. Velvet dresses. <laughs> so when did this drama all come out? Because she posted a video two days ago. It was literally it was, in the past few days. It, happened. it was either yesterday or the day she... before. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's it's a new. Let's go by popular. I like to see what they were known for. Mermaid Cave. Are you gonna force your kids? To... August 30th is when Ruby Frank. Oh no, was they arrested. did a Jimmy Kimmel. I ate all my kids' candy, which I always found to be unreasonably cruel. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to make my kids cry and be upset. That's the last thing I want to do, yeah. even as a joke. Get your bucket of candy. Let's go put it on my dresser. <laughs> that one's Boston's. I could Who's not do one? that. I didn't, I never liked this bit he did. Mm -hmm. Not funny. Corey. Yep, and whose is this one? Olivia's. Olivia's, yep. And this one's yours, right? Okay. Yeah. You can have it in the morning when you wake up. Okay? Okay. I have this one. Look you how have sweet that he sucker? is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Look how happy he is. A big garbage. Okay. And he's a good boy, <laughs> too. He gets the garbage <laughs> to his mommy. Do you want your candy? And um, I said, do you I don't even want to watch it. it. This was on Jimmy Kimmel. What are you talking about? Yeah. 24 million views. Damn. Oh. This is awesome. This is wholesome. Candy. I like that kid. Let's go in my room and get it. Let's I get it. Sight. My bottom camera. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My bottom camera. He's so okay. sweet. Sorry. I ate all of your Halloween candy. That's so cruel. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. <laughs> Dude, y'all. Candy is okay, got him, dude. Candy is literally life. It's everything. Dude. I don't know what it is. It's funny. Like, I mean, I was the same way. We all were. Candy is fucking the lifeblood of childhood. Like, Theodore is already preparing for Halloween. Yeah. You know? It's the <laughs> alpha, the omega, the mother, the ghost, the father. It's mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kids are so dramatic. Okay, you can tell him now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember you tricked me, and I was kind of hard. Yes. I didn't like that. Yeah, I bet you didn't. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Not nice. Even even in retrospect, this kid is like, I didn't like when you did that to me years ago. Boston, look what I have for you. <laughs> look, I didn't eat your Halloween candy. Look. Me. Those are He's hate. so sweet. I love him. 
Lucky. I see my boys. My yeah. Lucky. Yes. Can never yes. do that. So ha look how happy you are. Look at my sticker. I'll eat my Halloween candy. You can eat your Halloween candy. All right. No, don't try to make it sweet. You were mean for no damn reason. <laughs> But she was far from the only person doing that. There was a ton of yeah. people doing this. And sending it to Jimbo Kimball. Jimbo Kimball! With the beautiful amber eyes. He's a competitor now. You hear about that? Hmm. Him and all of the rest of the late night hosts are doing a podcast during the strike. Oh, what? Mm-hmm. We got, there's some new kids on the block. Wait, <laughs> yeah. what? Up. Are they monetizing it? Uh, they're actually don it's actually nice. They're donating all the proceeds from it to the strike fund. That is or good. Their, or, uh -huh. uh, I think specifically to their own staff. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So that they can pay cool. uh, their own staff while they're on hiatus. That's, because of the strike. that's great. We love that. So yeah, I guess I won't talk too much shit. But they are the competition now. So. Mm. Here they have <sighs> l losing a loved one with the grant with the child crying in the thumbnail. That's just not something you necessarily want to monetize. Not really. Making me a little uncomfortable. But so this is, uh, the whole family's in on this. I mean, I've never heard of that, though. I, like, where there's three mm -hmm. separate daughters and they're all family vloggers? That's super unusual. Uh... Here, this is it, by the way. Oh, that, that's cool. I like it. I got Strike whole, Force 5. <laughs> they got the whole crew. Hey, Jimmy, send me a video of you torturing your kids. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so pretty interesting, I guess, and very sad and tragic. And just another reason why family vlogs are a bunch of fucking bullshit. This is where they live? The hell? This is like... Yo, this is like where the really crazy Mormons live. They go out in the desert where, like... They, they're totally isolating and do anything they want. This is where the radical, the radical Mormons live. Frankie is known for a strict parenting style and the now defunct family channel 8 Passengers has previously been reported to Child Protective Services. Here, I gotta, let's see her, this wholesome ass shit she's doing. Let's hear you. Let's hear, I'm a parent, I, I, I always like to hear advice. Muted. God damn it! You got it. Yo, you got it. It's right there. Asking there you go. Nice. Fucking hell. Right. <laughs> that, that child was severely malnourished, along with another one. They oh, so that kid had to go run for a long time. From and went yeah, to a neighbor's seriously. house asking for food and water. They said that that child was severely malnourished, they were along actually with at another Jody's one house. they found inside the same mm. home. Yeah. They were locked up in her in Jody's house. Yeah, they were at the business partner's house. Oh man, that's even what? weirder, yeah. more fucked up. Yep. Yeah. So I wonder if she did that to evade scrutiny. She kept them punished in her friend's house. We gotta well, keep. Uh, it. It's. They're filming in her in their own house. I can't even. Yeah, imagine. once for the once the whole it's the yin yang. Right. One is for happily good times. The other one's for torture. <laughs> You know, just like the yin yang. Like yep. I can't even imagine what they were doing. The more we learn, the more like crazy and like unbelievable it gets. So this many, is her partner's house where the kids It were? was her, yeah, the, the woman she ran connections with. Dude, it's literally out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I don't... Is it? Now we yes, dude, I'm like telling you. Uh... Dude, I've seen enough Mormon cr true crime documentaries. I know exactly where this is. <laughs> this is out where they do, like, polygamy and shit. Well, that's... You're, yeah, you're talking about the fundamentalists. I, I don't think that well, they're, Well, it's like just people who want lots Mormon. of privacy. Why do they want so much privacy? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I like my privacy. I don't like it that much. <laughs> I like to live, move out into the desert of Utah, boy. Not a soul within 10 miles. It's gotta be so far that kids could not run out of home. Just out of screenshot of us, little child. I like that kind of privacy, you know? Scream and scream and ain't nobody hear you. <laughs> now that's privacy. Mm-hmm. Gunshot might ring out. Hell, in the middle of the night. Ain't nobody gonna hear that. That's real privacy, understand me? Ain't nobody driving by? Um, some people in chat are saying that it's not in nowhere. <laughs> yeah, okay. I... I Alright, whatever, just let me... Just, <laughs> who cares what, what, what like, the truth I, I, is? I know what you're talking about just with those communities. Just for the sake of information. Yeah. Hold on, look at this, look at this. Really really what I'm seeing. I think lots of places well, in Utah just look like that, my dude. With a woman who has gained... That's true. I think that's no. just Utah. 
That's Salt true. Lake City, bro. Yeah, Salt Lake it's, City it's summer, it's it's summer, summer the stuff there look like that. With YouTube videos getting hundreds of thousands of views. So being a mom's a full-time job, but popular Utah family vlogger Ruby F Being a mom's a full-time job, but sometimes you you neglect your younger child and they shit and piss themselves for days before you change them. Mm -hmm. And you tell them they stink. Right. Like it's their fault they stink. Yeah. <laughs> Frankie was arrested Wednesday. The 41-year-old mother of six is known for sharing clips of her children's daily lives on their now defunct YouTube channel, A Passengers. Today, she and her business partner, Jody Hildebrand, are accused of abusing some of them. What? what was that? Yeah, what? Is you that guys got audio? double audio. It's not me. Yeah. No, I, I think it's them. Did NBC fuck Oh, that, that was them? I think, I think so. so. Someone in the control room was Hold just it. like, hey, Oopsie. hey, everybody. Hey, hey. Oopsie. I want to check. Audio. Audio, audio, audio. My audio. was taken away for seven months, and then you give it back like a couple weeks ago. I don't think her viewers Oh, it's know the... That. Somebody's asking her questions. You're just sleeping on a beanbag. I'm sleeping on a beanbag. Is that his voice? And they gave my room back like two weeks ago. Police say yeah. a clearly malnourished 12-year-old child crawled out of the window of Hildebrand's Ivan's area home. A neighbor called 911 when he showed up at their house asking for food and water. Officers say his wrists were duct taped. He had wow. wounds from being tied up across his body. Investigators say they found a 10 year old girl inside the same house who was also malnourished. Frankie's family vlogs ended without a go. specific reason given. Dude, that's the middle of goddamn. It's not. I just, well, I mean, listen, where, where's it's the all neighbor. It's all re <laughs> it, it's all relative. No, 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 no. Compared no, no. to, but no, she, they just said Ivan's in neighborhood in St. George, Utah. I'm look. I just picked a random street. On Street View. People in chat are saying, here, here's one. I'm looking at this house. My family lives there. Look, it looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. It's not. This is this is Ivan's St. George, Utah, okay? Well, she got the most isolated ass house in that neighborhood. We can't see. There's nobody! <laughs> it's fucking wild. The point is it's, it's the wild, wild earth. <laughs> it's it's this this is not this is not their this is like God's <laughs> natural earth. Yeah, this is Butch Cassidy's uh, hideout in the canyons of Utah. <laughs> Go all the way to the canyon. That's where she lives. <laughs> all the way out there, off boy. the beaten path. In I tell road. you what, Going man. down this road, man. I want to go. Take that road real deep. We're going real down. We're going See, down. look at this. Pretty much 100% of the chat are disagreeing, and they're saying what this do you guys is know? not nowhere. You guys don't know anything. Everyone, they <laughs> live there. <laughs> everyone, everyone watching, everyone in the room. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got this real deep line. <laughs> Nobody here. You scream around here, brother. Where are the houses? Look Somebody to the, look, here that's said. their house. <laughs> exactly. Is it a, there's no houses for miles. <laughs> this is, well, this isn't like middle of nowhere, nowhere. This this dude, they don't have neighbors like. within a mile. It's like there's okay. places in Santa Clarita like this. Hold you on, know go, what I mean? go, go, keep going down the street. <laughs> Somebody here said, bet there's a Walmart down the street. Yeah, yeah. Almost Cage certainly. in chat says, there, right? I literally live here. All of you that is the middle of nowhere. I'm just telling you, that's someone that lacked their privacy. <laughs> I'm not saying that it's not somewhat remote. Obviously, it is. If you live in Utah, you're inherently somewhere remote, but it's got a not nice like private out. Middle of fucking nowhere. Mm. I nice. don't like to hear the neighbors, and I'll tell you, I don't like the neighbors to hear us. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little different kind of life out here. Private or life, secret or life. Oh, God. What goes on under our roof ain't no one's business, but our own. Right. Sometimes in the winter, the wind whip up. Or you could run a jet engine. Now, ain't nobody hearing it. Sometimes I thought I heard my mama in the wind sometimes in the winter. Still haunting me. What she done to me when I was a kid. Now I'm the powerful one, Mama. I only wish I had a chance to return the favor. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> I don't like that. I tell you, sometimes uh, the wind whip up real into a frenzy. Could hear the voices, Mama. Oh, yeah. My little... Jeff's family vlog. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh fuck no. <laughs> yeah, this is what was this, this is glazed. <laughs> this one was crazy. Yeah, it's the yes. fundamentalist Mormon. 
Yeah, this is the actual version sweet, of what you're talking about. Stay yeah, sweet or something. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Something like that, dude. That's, we watched this together. You remember? Did I watch this? Keep, I'm trying to remember. Maybe keep you, sweet, pray, and obey. Yeah. That's the one. What? What? Keep, keep sweet, sweet, pray, and obey. Mm. So he had a massive family, and he was just like a prolific born uh, Jeffs child R wordist, basically. Mm-hmm. This guy? Hell yeah, yeah. 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 The and Jeff. Then, I was being sarcastic. And then oh, his, who would have his his boys were also <laughs> doing guy. it. Like he had one boy, his first, <sighs> who was also being groomed to take over, and he was also. Uh. And then, in the community, they used little virgin girls as like, All as right. bargaining tokens. Jesus Christ! They would marry them off for favors, and they could have as many wives as they wanted. He had seventy-eight. Exactly. Mm. So it doesn't mean anything. It just means that he gets to do whatever he wants to her, basically, mm. and she can't do anything. That's it. You know what I'm saying? The more that's what goes on, people. It's good to know. I mean, this is fucking nuts. There's shit out there, and these and de- these here deserts <laughs> going on down there, boy. Ain't no tumbleweed. Ain't the only damn thing tumbling. It's the cries of the children. And what we doing? I really need to take you out to travel and see America. <laughs> I think so. I think so. I we tell you, man. The road trip. Of the, uh, you don't know this, but the outskirts of Utah, the murder capital of the world. Yeah, this is the America you want to show me? <laughs> yes. That's America. It's in mom and dad. A pride that only freedom Duct tape in the basement. Don't give them food. That's America. That's America to me. Inner sanctum of the Mormon church. Weird things happening just for me. All right. All right. All right. We don't need having multiple wives. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, damn, you just slowly singed me? (laughs) (laughs) Um, So we covered everything. Yeah, but I mean, mean, obviously this woman's a fucking demon. Someone needs to look closely at her sisters. I think they need to probably just... They need to make a a vertical leap there, do a new profession. Mm -hmm. And I think that... I don't think there's a wholesome family vlog, by definition. It's not. It's not okay. You know, I'm sorry. Some people like the wholesome family content. If you're using kids for content, it's not okay. It's just not, man. Kids loved Hitler. He had 78 wives. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. I didn't even gonna read that, man. Yeah. So what else? 420. Almost 420. What do you oh. want to eat? Oh man, it's 420, man. We gotta bring the Rasta to the Utah outskirts. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta bring the Jamaican medicine to the outskirts of Utah. <laughs> we say no, 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 no to polygamy. It's fucking nice out. We say yes, 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 yes to getting high with me. Yeah. No child, no cry. <laughs> Mama can't hurt you no more. Out here, Amish smoking big donuts. Rasta. No glaze, no crime. No glaze, no cry. Fucking nice out. Shout out to the Prince family, though. The only family that does it right. They, the only family that does it enough. <laughs> in what a, is going on here? In a sensitive, uh, mature way. <laughs> that rules. A shark came out of a painting at the museum and ate our son. Oh my god. Oh my That's... god. <laughs> I'd click. Damn. OMG. This should go beyond. Yeah. Uh, god. I couldn't do it. <laughs> oh my god. You edited that. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. Damn, she was in the pocket. Yeah. She's so great. She I kept hitting the button. On it, That's so fucking good. Did you see Corey, uh, Colleen's best friend, made his Instagram comeback? 
Yeah, whatever. Send me the link. I'll open it. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yes. It was an interesting yes. choice for it his was. comeback photo. Mm-hmm. Rasta, brother, man. You have God, I've got my marijuana. <laughs> we are not the same. <laughs> so he's thirst trapping. Yeah. Gym yeah. really helped with my mental health. I mean, that's okay. I would run to the gym every time anxiety, depression, suicidal thoughts got me. Okay, good. <laughs> Yo, is that an Apple Watch? <laughs> nice pecs. Good arms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Apple. Not bad. <laughs> Apple. He could use a little. I'm not even going to say. He's, he looks good. <laughs> I'm not even going to give, like, that alpha male shit because it just sounds like, actually, psycho. I wonder if he cleared the post with Corey's clits before it went pub. <laughs> mm. Do you think they asked, he asked for their opinion on it? Probably. Here is a uh, Prince family man shit, dude. Looks mm. like all their kids died. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. Genuinely clickbaiting that. Yo, did all the kids die? I gotta click this real fast. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to eat? I think Should we get that... From that Mexican place we like? Or... Uh, I think that my mom's making food. Oh, she is? Okay. <laughs> nice. Beyond. <laughs> Tell me we didn't win best podcast. Shut the fuck up. Give me a fucking break. We're Train making him. music. Jay Shetty wouldn't even know how he to do never. that. He nope. could never. Never do harmonies nope. to a Bianca. Never. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right. But um, anyways, uh, have a nice long weekend, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. We'll be back on as well. Well, wait. If we're happy to you as well. If we're not coming on Monday, should we come in on Tuesday? If you want. Do not come. Maybe just we'll come back <laughs> Wednesday. I don't know, I feel bad because we didn't do so many shows already in this week. The only thing is- I mean, we you do... needed the time, it wasn't, you know? Yeah, there's definitely that. And the only thing with uh, that is if we do Tuesday, then there is no day between Wednesday, that Thursday, show Friday. and the yeah. next one, and what the fuck do we talk about on Wednesday? Yeah. Okay, so we'll just be back on Wednesday. Yeah. I think so. That's my vote. Okay. Do members episode on Tuesday though. Yeah. Yeah. There's a uh, this one picture. Of, oh yeah, this one. Oh, I haven't seen that. Or not this, but just this photo in general. <laughs> this was like one of the last photos we took. Mm-hmm. He was so sweet. He looks so sweet. Little angel. It was like a couple hours before. I love that photo. Yeah. I don't know how he just looked so sweet. Like, he was so sick at the time. And somehow, like, ugh. I mean, you really couldn't tell from the outside. Well, the last two days you could. We could because we know him, but I feel Mm -hmm. like, you know, to somebody else. The last two days he was very sick, I felt like. It's pretty obvious. To us. He was super lethargic. He couldn't open his eyes. Yeah. He couldn't walk. He lost so much weight. He was eight pounds. Yeah. He was, he was. He lost two pounds in one week. Yeah. Eight pounds. That's how much he weighed when he was a puppy. Mm-hmm. Right. Because he couldn't eat. He was like 15 pounds before he got sick. Yeah. (sighs) 
It's gonna take me a while. Anyway, so you don't want to get Mexican food? <laughs> What's your mom making? Something good? I think she needs to. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, good luck with all the unclaimed property, guys. Wait, let me see if I can Google my dad's name. I just really wanted to do that. Before we go. If it's working. See, one more shot. One more shot for Gary. Let's see. I am not a robot, as far as I know. Not yet. Uh, golly, y'all still broke this damn website. <laughs> <laughs> well, get out there, get paid, y'all. <sighs> I'm stoked for some of you One guys. Last, uh, a 24 month member. Uh, wow, said, thank you. Claimed 180 bucks. Thanks, Ethan. Wow. Hell yes. Hey, you just paid for your membership for two years almost. <laughs> or maybe you did. Well, then they said, my fiance uh, lost his job a month ago because his company went under after 12 years. This helps. Mm. So there you go. Every little bit helps. Fuck yeah. Good call on that. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. It's so cool to just, it's like find, you know you like find $5 in the washing machine? Totally. It's like that, but way better. One guy almost got 100 grand. <laughs> what the fuck? We gotta hear Maybe. from that guy. Yeah, dude, dude who got 100 grand, you gotta follow up with Please us. follow yeah. up. Let us know if you're I gotta to know get if that. that was real. Yeah. It's like 93,000. Holy shit. Crazy. Everybody's smoking the ganja this weekend. That's right. Celebrating Labor Day. Ah. To all the laborers, I say. Oh, you know who the laborers are? The children. <laughs> the children of eight passengers enjoy Labor Day. Get your fucking ass up and work. Your child working <laughs> for slavery wage and day. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. Get your ass <laughs> up and work, you slazy slavery. Go up and work and work harder. Yes. The children. Fuck you. Ah. Show up and work. Work for your orange chicken pizza rolls, man. <laughs> Work for your tortillo pizza rolls or a chicken pizza rolls, brother. You can work harder. No, that doesn't work either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's stop this. All right. Everyone have a great long weekend. Thank you to everybody for, you know, being really great yeah. and supportive and understanding. It's really hard to describe you know the pain and the loss of it all right i guess i gotta get home tonight and fuck uh some aliens <laughs> <laughs> definitely right that'll make me feel better took me a minute to realize what you're talking about i'm gonna bring that tentacle over here boy <clears throat> Talking about Baldur's Gate? Or, oh, or Gary, wait, it, it loaded. Oh? Yeah, I was talking about Baldur's, Baldur's Gate. I was going to say, you could, you could be talking about Starfield. Button. Have you tried that? Is it out? No. It's not out yet, right? Uh, it came out yesterday. I heard the, I, the graphics look like really dumb. I, I have a graphics? bad feeling that Baldur's Gate is going to be such a better game. That'll overshadow it? Yeah. Cause like I'm I was excited hearing, for both. I don't know. I'm I was hearing the it. dialogue and stuff was really corny and that stuff is just is the worst. <laughs> I know. <laughs> to you, oh, here's one for my dad. I found one for my dad. Twenty three bucks. Twenty eight bucks. Congrats, Gary. Let's keep looking. Here's another one. Fifty seven dollars. Yeah, this shit is so sick. So sick. Let's see. Is this one? No, I don't think so. This one is him. 160 bucks. Yo! Oh god, there's a lot of them. I gotta show my dad this. He's gonna be all over this shit. Mm -hmm. You should see how many- It's the coupon king. That's what I'm saying. You should see how much effort he puts into like selling his old baseball cards for like 20 bucks. <laughs> He's about to clean this bitch up. Wow, it's so awesome. 
All right, have fun with it, everyone. <sighs> and uh, love y'all. Love ya. Full homo. Yes, homo. <laughs> love ya. Homo. <laughs> love ya, homo. I hope Big Tipster has a good weekend. Big tip. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers, my dude. <laughs> Yo, I love the um, where you just read his lips because it's so iconic. Yeah, you know exactly what he's like, saying. Like, do that again. <laughs> Cheers, my dude. No audio, though. Oh, my just God. Just the overlay like you did it before. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like 50%. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers my, my dude. dude. No home. Love you. No, no home. home. Hit that, boy. You know you deserve it. At least I've seen what a vagina looks like. Cicate. What? <laughs> What does it look like, Tip? Describe it to me. Wait, what? Homo. Papa John just... Wow, that really missed the mark. <laughs> oh my god. Papa John just texted me. Oh my god. And although it was thoughtful, it did kind of miss the mark here. Uh, I appreciate the thought. Let me show you the photo. I missed the mark with that one. I'm assuming he just saw this in one of the... Yeah. <laughs> Here, pull this up, Dan. Oh, boy. It's the thought that matters, right? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> he literally no, just texted me that. Wait, <laughs> why? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. No. What? <laughs> Papa, why? Oh, <laughs> Did you pull it up? I'm pulling it up. Hold on. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> is this? <laughs> All right. There it is. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't even that Zach, you can play chestnuts. Oh my god. That pretty much was chestnuts. <laughs> yeah. Chestnuts. You just got chestnuts. Oh <laughs> that's nuts. I mean, that's the thought that matters. Yeah. I'm a shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm assuming he just saw it in the carousel and thought, oh, I'm not gonna read. <laughs> the comment or description. He said, damn, I'm not going to read all that happy for you. Or is that <laughs> yeah, happy? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was sweet of him, I think. Oh, so was he congratulating you on Hila's pregnancy? But he sent me that or photo. Right, he, I, he must have just not even, yeah. He not, sent me that photo in tandem. Right. And this was one of the photos we posted, like, in mem in memory of yeah. Better. <laughs> right. What a fucking yeah. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he, probably didn't, he, he probably hasn't heard about the Shredder thing. I'm giving no, him the clearly. Yeah, right. he, he, he didn't, didn't read. He, he didn't, didn't read. do a lot of research. <laughs> but thought. it was like, wow, they're announcing a new baby and talking a lot about their dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering how are you gonna respond? Papa bless for sure. You guys yeah. don't even look like that anymore. I'm just gonna say Papa <laughs> bless. Just, thank yeah. you. I'm not even. I'm just gonna say Papa bless. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> there you go. I don't have the heart to break it. Though. Yeah. <laughs> it's a thought that matters. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> On that note, that's amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. Congratulations to you both. Yeah. Congrats. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Four years later. <laughs> Anuk really does have a beautiful voice. He's oh, yeah. an angel. Everybody knows. <laughs> wow. I've never heard that part. I didn't hear that either. Everybody that refrain. Knows. That was gorgeous. Everybody knows. <laughs> love your pets, guys. Go love on your pets so much. Big hug. I will tonight for sure. Mm -hmm. And giving the kids. They're so amazing. Love. Our animals are just so amazing. There's just like a love you that. There's just a bond and a love that just so special, so pure. It's truly unconditional. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Alright, I don't want to dwell on it anymore. I try not to think about it right now because I just start crying. Yeah. Well, thank you, Papa, for the laugh. <laughs> Actually, that was pretty good. Alright, guys, have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you yeah. on Wednesday. Sorry that we're going to be gone for so long. Sheesh, it just worked out that way. So.
But be patient. You know, I'm sorry. And we'll be back on uh, Wednesday. We'll be back, back. Yes. Ba- back, back. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a great weekend.